two. Hello, hello. It is off the rails, November 8th. It's a beautiful day. Thank you, everybody, for being here. It is I, Banished and Punished Ethan, back for another podcast. Today's episode is sponsored by The Ordinary, Games, Gamersups, and Stamps.com. We love our sponsors. Thank you. Thank you so much to them. We love them. Lunchtime. Oh, here we go. Hi. <laughs> we got the music playing this time. <laughs> now what? <laughs> now what? <laughs> Jamie Gooch, Gooch Family Farms. While Gooch. Gooch's opinion may not be the most fun, fun, Gooch, fun, Gooch, fun, Gooch, fun, Gooch, 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 Gooch. I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Drop me. Drop me. Drop me. Busted ass, goddamn Adidas. Drop me. Drop me. Drop me. Oh no! Hit him with the Perrier bottle. Drop me. Not very girthy. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer's. Wow. We have to keep our country gay. I felt I felt Uh oh. Oh, just a glimpse of Fousey Tube. Just a taste. But not the whole not the whole meal. Yeah. So anyway, uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys. That was uh, magical as always. A lot of fun. Powerful, actually. Huge impact. You know what? We were saying my hair looks like a TikTok fuckboy. Like, it has fully transcended. The center is filled in somehow. <laughs> that is so true. And, like, <laughs> it actually looks like a real haircut. It's weird. But there it is. Oh, not that time. You can see right through that. Desperation. Yeah, thank you, thank you. How's everybody doing? Dan, how are you feeling specifically? Because I'm spicy good. hot chip is coming for you. It's hot right chip there. Wednesday. It's hot chip Wednesday. Everyone's going to be so excited. Woo! So great. I actually am. I woke up this morning excited. <laughs> Did you really? I was like, this is going to be a fun show. I get to watch Dan eat a spicy chip. Oh, boy. And I, I mean, I'm not the only one. Everybody in the whole episode on Monday was like, yo, spicy chip. That's all time. they wanted to see. We did a good job building it up, though. The, the suspense is insane. That's true. Burn. Burn. Butthole burns. Yeah. Thank you to our members, by the way. Um, you guys make the show possible, and we love you guys and all our members. Really appreciate you guys. Just want to say thank you. Top of the show, real fast. <clears throat> Tomorrow is the beginning. I think is it at 10 a.m. Sam? Do you know? I think it's usually at 10 a.m. Oh wait, the website's down. Okay, here it is. Our annual Black Friday sale starts tomorrow at 10 a.m. And this sale is going to be insane. I'm saying there's like 70 percent off on a ton of shit. It's going to be wow. insane. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Very nice. The, the only thing that's not on sale is the November collection and the Elon Musk shirt. Everything else is... And then the month before is 30%. Everything else is like 50 to 70% off. So oh, wow. You're going to want to check that out. If you've never uh, been able to buy Teddy Fresh, now's the time. I'm telling you guys. This is the, si the opportunity of a lifetime. So there it is. TeddyFresh.com tomorrow 10 a.m. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this shirt's actually from the November collection. Uh, you can't buy it because the website's down. And it's not on sale. But you can buy it still tomorrow. 10 a.m. Not on sale. Thank you, Katie Cat Meow. Okay, that's quite a name. Thank you for the five gifted. Appreciate that. <sighs> Yo, why did you have to bring Ninja into it, man? Ninja broke my heart yesterday. And Philly D broke my heart all in one fucking day. They literally chose Elon Musk over me. Like, dude, he's not going to fuck you. He's not going to give you any money. Money. <laughs> money. Look, you guys, we watched Philly D stab me in the back. Like people uh, but Ninja, I did not expect. Ninja, 
He had no reason. And we were just, we were trying so hard to become homies with Ninja. You know, I was begging him to come on the podcast. He even said that he was thinking about it. But then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, he comes for me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Did this shake your guys' faith in Ninja, Sam and Ian and all you got diehards? No. Nope. I concur. <laughs> you don't, mm, okay, thanks, Zach. Yes, I, I side with you, Ethan. This is too far as uncalled for. Oh, Zach, oh, yeah, totally. Zach, you used to be my hype man, and now you go against me every chance you get. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you why is because I don't want to stop playing the sound bites. They're too good. <laughs> so oh, that's was, <laughs> that's what I'm defending here. I side with you, yes, completely, but I don't want to stop playing them. I wasn't going to force you to play. Stop playing. Oh, okay, then yeah, I side with you. I would. I would never. I would never impede on your creative arts back there. I appreciate that. You I know what I mean? That. Well, here it is. Um, I guess shortly after I got permanently banned, here's what Ninja had to say about it. Everybody, like, people like, trying to get banned, and then when they get banned, they're, oh, dude, I don't know. I thought it was free speech. It's like you're sitting here impersonating the owner of the account, of, of, of the company. First of all, bro, you shouldn't be talking shit when you're missing shots like that, you fucking rookie bitch. <laughs> Seriously. Like, I thought you were a good gamer, and I'm, I'm trying to listen to you talking shit, but all I can see is just how bad you are at this game. Oh. I, he should have been hitting those shots, right, love? Yeah, he's been playing that game for fucking seven years at this point, and he's missing these shots? Come the fuck on. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, you know what? Ninja. You know what? It's no wonder he fell off. Seriously, bro. I'm coming for him now. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I can do this. Uh, stuff. I've been holding my tongue on Ninja a little bit. I don't know if I should say it, though. Unleash, bro. Uh, Unleash. Now's the time. As far as I know, and I've been thinking about this for a while, but, you know, we've been trying to, like, mend our relationship with him, so I haven't really said it. But as far as I know, he hasn't apologized to Pokimane for that whole lawsuit <laughs> right. thing and all the other things. So, like, dude, you're out here acting almighty, but you haven't apologized to Pokimane? What the fuck, bro? You. Come on, dude. That's such a good point, love, that you bring up. Because we're like, oh, what did he do? He didn't do anything. Yeah, you right. fucked up, bro. You stepped to our queen, Pokey. Yeah. And you still yeah. have not faced the reckoning you deserve for that. And I'll tell you Seriously, what. Bro. I'll tell you what. Furthermore, it's affecting your skill in the game. Okay? Yeah, he's clearly keeping something inside of him. And it's clearly ruining his uh, skills in the game here, yeah. You got to let go, bro. You got to mend the fences, not burn them down. Because how are you going to be able to get sh hit shots like that when you have so much hate and resentment and black goo in your heart? Goo! Goo! Anyway, let's yeah. hear what he says. I just got so distracted by those horrible shots. Impersonating the owner of the account of, of, of the company. <laughs> Making... Jeffrey Epstein shit or what you know what I mean like yeah, so, so so that's how I know he's talking about me right like it's, and it's not funny like ah oh I thought, I thought comedy was I, I thought comedy was alive and well it's like you're not <laughs> it's not parody that's what first my first question is why is he so mad about it I was like, what? What did what happened, bro? Is he an Elon Musk simp or something? Like, what is this like passionate defense? He's so angry about it. Yeah, I mean, look, dude, it is. First of all, I'm not. People like him, and I think even Philly D to an extent, are missing the whole point of this, or not. And like, it's not Philly D less, more the conservo sphere. They just make up their own narrative about how, like, I'm crying about how I didn't deserve to get banned. I don't fucking care. I knew I was going to get banned. The joke was, is that Elon Musk, and uh, yeah, Ninja, let me explain the joke to you, since you are the arbiter and keeper of all comedy. And I'm sorry, I know my hair isn't dyed blue, so try to fucking uh, take this uh, uh, just from a normal plebeian if you can, please. I'm not the king of comedy like you, with a goddamn red hair, bro, at age 35. How old is he? Uh, let me check. Hey, put that book too, down. What was that? Too old to be playing Fortnite. He's 31. 31, bro? It's time to go natural, Ninja. Hey, 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 Sam, put... Sam! 
Yeah, I don't play Fortnite, okay? Sorry, what? Whoa. Sam, show Sam. Don't do that. I don't want to see that. Sorry, I'm... Get Good? My bad. You're reading Get Good by Ninja? Okay, you know what, Sam? Flip to a random page and read me a passage and tell me how's, how we getting good with Ninja. Okay. <laughs> Warm up. Play a match. Have fun. But use it to get into your practice headspace. Remember, you're not just playing, you're working too. And take a minute or two to stretch. Right. You'll be glad you did. Okay, hold on. Let's slow down a little bit. That is actually fire advice. I'm not gonna lie. How much that book costs? That's a hardback edition, man. Uh, Dan actually <laughs> gifted this to us yesterday. Yeah, uh, it was a uh, thrift store find for, uh, oh. I believe it was $7. Uh, yeah, Second even hand. seven's kind of expensive. Well, yeah. with Makes sense. knowledge of that caliber, I mean, I would call that a steal. What did he say? Stretch? That's fine. Yes. Make sure you stretch first. You'll be glad you did. That's true. I, I mean, I've never, I never been, I never regretted stretching, so that's true, actually. What we wanted to do is do a couple games record our scores, read the book, and then try again. Do a sci yeah, exactly. With oh, maybe like a, a control group and everything, like a real scientific experiment. I actually think that's a great idea. I love that. By the way, here's an exchange between Ninja and Elon Musk. So apparently he, he's under the assumption that Elon's going to fucking invite him over to Austin and give him a million dollars and give him a horse for an job. <laughs> he's going to get his ass buttercup. Some buttercup semen. That was the name of the horse, right? The tre the buttercup? Uh, yeah. The horse that won all the Kentucky Derbies and shit? Maybe. Uh. Give it to you. Is it, is it, is it possible? Whatever, I don't need to read it. But he's so angry, dude. What's his problem? I was trying to be cool, bro. Ooh, uh, free speech. I thought comedy was still... It took comedy was alive and well. That's I the joke. He's alive the one that well. tweeted out comedy is back on Twitter, bro. That's cringe. I, I thought comedy was alive and well. Well, at least we have that soundbite. I thought it was free speech. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I literally don't think Twitter has anything to do with free speech, like, at all. That's kind of what the joke is, bro. Damn. It was so embarrassing, actually, just even... Whatever, bro. Yeah, El that's not Ninja. Funny. There's more? What is this? Ninja. That was when Elon bought Twitter. Elon just bought Twitter for 4.5 million or 45 million. I thought buying that kid's bank and foreclosing his house was a flex. Ninja's got a lot to learn from Elon. Oh, yeah. Ninja once threatened a kid. And it's not funny. Yes, it is funny. Okay. Thank you. That's why nobody watches your stream anywhere. How many views do you get? Like 10? Okay, it's K. 8K, bro. That's not bad. <laughs> He'll always Thomas. have one. <laughs> <laughs> if Ninja has no fan, or what, what's the saying? If he has no fans, he has one fan, or I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. Yep. Thanks. Thanks for having me on that. All right, well, speaking of which, actually, too, Zach and AB were first in line to pay for that check mark. So AB and Zach both signed up quickly. I, uh, you guys are now paying eight fucking dollars a month for this blue check mark. I have no idea. Right. It's just a con it's, uh, coincidence that it happened the same time. That's, that's legit. That's no, legit. it's not. I, you can click it. It literally says... This person paid for this check mark when you click it. This is my oops. Uh, um, <laughs> formal resignation from the show. I've gone Hollywood. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> agent's hitting okay, me up right. now. So yeah, I, I might have to report your account, Zach, because you're oh. impersonating uh, Lou. I'm yeah, impersonating Lou. Love actually says he got one too and sent this. So. Yeah, yeah. Love was Love was trying to. <laughs> we couldn't figure out how to do it on his phone. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, so how does it feel to be verified, though? I mean, it looks legit. When I saw AB sent that picture, I was like, before I remembered that you're now buying it, I was like, yo, that looks dope, but... It's if you, I, in the doc, I included what it looks like if you click on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's yeah, the so, difference between an actual verified person. So, so here, if you click this, it says, this account is verified because they subscribed to Twitter Blue. But that's not ours, though. 
And then if you go no, that's below his, that, uh, that's his. If you go below that, it shows the podcast, which is actually. And the verified. podcast says this account is verified because it's notable in government news, entertainment, or another designated category. That's mm. that's what I got. Nope. No, it's not. No, it is. <laughs> it's not what it's happened. Just, it, AB said it's coincidence. You know. I just clicked on it. You're lying. Uh, yeah. I'm doing this. Uh, I'm the research guy. This is for research. I don't know why Zach's doing it, but yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's a fair point. Why are you doing it, Zach? I'm gone Hollywood, man. <laughs> Last show, baby. Yeah. Um, Twitter blue ver- verified now. I mean, of all the things you could spend eight dollars a month on, this is kind of the most insane one, though. I mean, yeah, it's pretty invigorating. Mm, it's almost the same price as a Ninja Book from the Goodwill. So <laughs> you could know. buy a Ninja Book every month. That was only though. seven. True. That's a dollar cheaper, dude. True. And H3 that's podcast? invaluable advice. Yo, H Street Podcast members is five dollars, and you get a lot for that membership. Let me tell you, you get BTS every week. You get an entire podcast now with video by me, and in that podcast, you even get double audio, double yeah. the price, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> double the value. <laughs> and that's five dollars a month, and you're supporting me, not some billionaire fucking dick. Yeah, so what's funny is, I don't know if you guys saw that he temporarily added for like five hours um, the official post. Where's that one here? Uh, if you go down to the uh, Elon section, uh, it will be under 1A here. I got it. Thank you. Yeah, so he added, it seriously was like for five hours, and they even rolled it out. It, it was out. a little bit longer. I believe I saw somebody uh, say it was 16 hours, so less, less than a day. But <laughs> it, 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 They're so incompetent. It's such a mess there. So they added another check mark. Double official. check. Official. For, uh, you know, official... Uh, for people that are actually verified. Yeah, exactly. What are you saying, Dan? I'm saying that you're lying and that you paid $8 <laughs> to get your exactly. stupid blue, blue check checks mark. do not concern themselves with opinions. Yeah, you blue get, get the, as an ass out of here, Dan. Back on. Put your get glasses back on. Get right. out of here, Dan. Fair enough. He's there. I mean, fair they're right. Enough. They're right. They're Blue right. Check, I, I recognize. You know what? My agent, Steve Rossi, will call you. Later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's like it's so stupid. So they added another check. His whole thing was let's democratize the blue check mark. Let's level the field. But they added another check mark that does the same thing as this check mark. And this check mark literally became meaningless. And then he realized how fucking dumb it was and erased it after 16 hours. Yep. Why Twitter is insane. Twitter's a rat hole. <laughs> Twitter's a rat hole. And now, it, I mean, you still click it and you can tell the difference. So this whole notion of the blue check, I, it, it's just so stupid. Here's a, it, it, one C is where he, um, in a uh, reply to friend of the show, uh, Mark Ass Brownlee. <laughs> uh, yeah, love Mark Ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a good guy. Wait. If you scroll here, up. Yeah. So <laughs> Mark, Marcus said... <laughs> Now there's two verified checks. One that shows next to your profile and replies and retweets and everywhere else it means you're a Twitter blue subscriber. The other one official only shows up for certain profiles on the timeline. Update. It's now gone. So that was a two hour difference between those <laughs> tweets. And then Elon responded to him. I just killed it. <laughs> yeah. And we were talking about it earlier. Dan's like, enjoy it while it lasts. And I agree. This is going to be like. I feel like it's gonna be a couple of weeks and then we get rid of this. AB was like, "We eat like kings for, yeah, for those one two week." Weeks, we'll eat like- <laughs> <laughs> you think they'll cancel the blue check mark for plebs? I don't know. I, I kind of have a feeling it's not gonna revenue, last, bro. Huh? I mean, they're already collected revenue. They're gonna tr- 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 turn that faucet off. I don't yeah, it think might so. be very successful. I don't know. There's a bunch of idiots <laughs> like me and Zach. So, <laughs> <laughs> but we eat like kings tonight. Yeah, that's right. We're bl- we're verified idiots. You guys yeah. do look legit verified, like, I think, at least for a little bit, so more people start getting it. It's all about the image, baby. It's kind of a vibe. It's all it's all a part of the, the bigger scheme. What we're going to do is now uh, apply to verification on Instagram and show them that we're verified on Twitter. Yeah, Hopefully they haven't heard anything about what's you know going on. I will tell, I will say this, Ian, I do owe you for Mr. Verified. I will buy you a Twitter verification uh, <laughs> check mark if you so please. If you so please. Uh, yeah, sure. Or, yep. well, at that cost, you give me another ninja book. Just right. Okay. For different rooms. Right. It's same. Ian's well, one for, one for here to keep at the office and one for back home. Do you want a ninja book or do you want a check mark? Uh, we, uh, I feel like I got to do the check. I got to. Yeah, Ian, you'll be the only Twitter blue person. Who has it paid for by someone else? You're not paying for it, and you're verified. So and you that's didn't win. You didn't win, Mister 
ninja book. You won Mr. Verified, that's dude. True. Yeah, that's right. right. Okay, okay. Unfortunately. Okay, here, here's what I'll do for you, Ian, and this is a long time coming. I have owed you. Mm -hmm. Here's what I want. Uh, Dan, you have a company credit card. I sure do. So you go ahead and sign Ian's account up for reoccurring payments. $8 a month. You are now... Wait, recurring? Why not just a one-off? Oh, just one month? Well, I mean, you didn't what? say for how long. <laughs> I could do just That's a good idea, actually. Why do I need to keep paying for this shit, Ian? The thing, the, the crown does... Oh, AB's handing me glasses. The crown doesn't go away. It's not a one month, one season. Really? A month? Hmm. It'll yeah, be gone next month anyway. Thank you for the gifted, Jake, man. Oh, no, I think it, listen, I owe him big time, okay? He is Mr. Verified. I'm not going to take that away. I'm going to do a reoccurring $8 a month blue check until you're too embarrassed and want me to turn it off. And month? Welcome That's to the club, buddy. That's a little, buddy. you're pushing it. The official McDuck. I've had two pairs of these same glasses for years for this moment. Thank you for the gifted, Thank Jake, man. You're welcome. Ivan, Ivan should allow people to gift it, though. That'd be amazing. Oh, we're giving him ideas now. Dude, there's another, I have another idea. I'm going to drop you real quick. Okay. Allow people to modify or, like, edit their profile with colors and shit for money. That would sell a lot. Oh, they... It allows you to have... Uh, it, I think it does. It allows you to do that Even and the app though. icon look different. Yeah, you're allowed to do that. Yeah. You should allow people to... Play. <laughs> Customization. They should allow people to play music on their uh, profiles as well. And then maybe, like, yeah. have, like... A top like let's say like eight, eight? friends or mm. something that you could like have <laughs> at the top of your profile that'd be really cool elon should change his name to tom that sounds like a sweet <laughs> yeah I no that's a good it. idea elon's weird i mean this is like elon, elon should make every twitter account follow him right every twitter <laughs> account follow him change his name to tom uh, listen to this tesla cars when they're asked what happened to the child that walked in front of them i just killed it good one we love to see it <laughs> Yeah, Elon Musk is a giant piece of shit, actually. And that shirt, which uh, you can buy tomorrow because the website's down, is up until Sunday. Thank you, thank you. Elon Musk is a piece of shit. It's not on the website now, so it's kind of hard Give to promote to it. But there it is. It's up there. Give to you money. Uh, money. <laughs> Give to you. So you'll keep us informed, AB, on how that check mark's working out for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it for as long as you need just to... See how things go. Can I ask you, do you have the verified tab now? I do, and that is very cool, actually, because I have, okay. like, all these verified people, like, responding to my tweets and stuff who I had no idea follow me. Yeah. But now that I'm in the club, it is helpful. Okay, that's, that's the best part about well, being Well, all verified. those verified people are probably just a bunch of other people that got Twitter blue, my dude. That's what I'm seeing. Well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> really? That's, yeah, that's a good I mean, point, Dan. These ones are legit. Click one. Okay. Here. Are you okay. sure? Yeah, yeah. No, I was I was going through it earlier, um, but that is a great point, Dan. This is probably going to work for about a day, <laughs> right? Yeah, until everybody jumps on, right? Because who, who cares if about if people house. with Twitter blue responded to you? Right, right. So also apparently you get spam power. You float to the top, so you can you should start fucking. Oh yeah, with people's replies. That's why I did it. I mean, <laughs> you're not around. If someone has to watch, you know, until you return, hopefully. All right, well, there it is. Uh, that's that. So congratulations to AB and Zach for being verified. Congratulations, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Also, an important news, the lottery was at $2.1 and one motherfucker won that shit in Pasadena? Money! That's right. That's like... Well, Altadena, but close enough. Dude, that's like super close to us. Yeah. Did who bought tickets for that? Uh, I think Cam. Just did, Cam? I did. I think Zach did too. Of course, dude. Of course. I was dude. going to, but then I I missed my chance. How many tickets did you guys buy? I just bought one. Yeah, I mean, you might. That's all you need. Yeah, I was just gonna buy one too. But it was so close, Zach. You got to feel like that was almost you, huh? Oh, Cam, you live even closer. Yeah, I mean, it almost was me. I got I got robbed, dude. Yeah, it's fucked up. Next time. I'll get it. There's always next time. Always keep for gambling. sure next time. Mm -hmm. It is actually super rare for just one person to win that big of a jackpot, though. This yeah. is the Pretty biggest, insane. biggest jackpot. Ever. Yeah, ever. He just became one of the richest people in the world, just straight up. That's just crazy. Quick update. Yes, yeah, so I went to my verified tab, and at first you see OTK, which is actual verified, responding to me. Then, then the next person has nine followers. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's, that verified tab is going to be super useful, I can tell. Welcome to Hollywood, dude. <laughs> you made it, baby. Hey, Brian Singer just invited you to a party, uh, AB. Do you accept? Hell yeah. If he's verified. Uh, send everything through Steve Rossi. He'll, he'll handle it. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I gotta say, my, my perception of the lottery is so skewed because when I worked there, all I would see that would come in are winners. Like, you know, because everyone was coming in to oh, right. their, big, their big prizes. So that's all I would see at a lottery. So my, in my head, I'm like, that's going to be me. Somewhere. Everybody wins. Yeah. It's easy. I see all these new millionaires. This, I'm going to be new uh, Roche. Yeah. Also, I just want to, before we get into some main topics ah. here, um, Elon, Elon Ma uh, just dropped a new video. Actually, and we've been in touch with him. We're trying to get him for the show. Mm -hmm. Right. We've that gotta, right. We need to find a... Um, Someone who speaks Mandarin that can help translate for us because actually this isn't shtick. He does not speak English, right, Zach? He responded to me in Mandarin, yeah. And you had to you had to convert that. Correct, yeah. Is he excited? What's the vibe check? Um, he said uh, that he would love to come on. So awesome. Um, the only thing he's afraid of is his English is not good. But I told him and responded to him that we will have someone help him with that. Wait, he's gonna call. Okay, so but this is fascinating because we're saying this is a deep fake. That's what I pointed He's out. Call is that in this live? may debunk. One, Whoa. Way, one way or another, this will determine if it's a deep fake. Whoa, this is breaking. So we got to get him on ASAP, Zach. Well, right. It, I think the logistics of this are very complicated because he's 16 hours ahead, I believe. Mm -hmm. right. So we're trying to find a, a good time that works for both. All right, all right. He's a busy he, man. He's running a lot of companies. God damn it. He's got a lot to do. And, and meanwhile, if, if anyone watching is uh, fluent in English and Mandarin, uh, message one of these guys on Discord, and, and we'd appreciate your help on the segment. In the meantime... Let's enjoy a new fire from Yilong Ma. Aruwa, I'm Yilong Ma. Tusla. Yilong Ma Sko, give it to me. New, Mudo Wa, Mudo Wa. Tusla. Where you go? I love you. Where you go? <laughs> yes, my guy. He's the fucking king. He's so cool. So much cooler than real Elon. I just I love so much that he he just hits records on these videos with no plan. Like he just seemingly has no idea what he's gonna do in this video. He's just kind of winging it. He gets, but he's uh, got the car. He's uh, got the suit. He's got the hair. He's put a ton really of needs. planning. Yeah, he just didn't figure out what to say yet. So we love that. So, oh, that's exciting. He's going to call in. And basically, we've talked about all that, but I think what we really need to just get into at this moment is bring out that motherfucking hot chip, Dan. Uh, no, what we need to get into is our ad, and Ela just walked in to do okay, the so ordinary ad. Okay, so let's do our ad, ads. And then we can do it Thank our sponsors, and then right after that, we are doing uh, some hot chips. We got um, milk and stuff for him, Sam? Yeah, I guess... I'll go start prepping that. Yeah. That's a good idea. Eli, you want to come join me? Eli's joining me for the um, yeah. ordinary spot. Elong Ma. Uh, very cool. Money give to you. Give to you. Eli, I'm... I'm Yes, yes, everybody stay tuned. It's happening. Dan is eating the chip. Thank you, AB. All right, so let's take them. Um, thank you to our sponsor. Oh, here, let me. Yeah, maybe I won't wear that for the sponsor. Yeah, <laughs> maybe not. No. <laughs> thank you, thank you guys to the ordinary. Wow. We absolutely love this brand i hope we did one read before i hope you guys went and checked it out the ordinary is essentially disrupting the market the beauty care market um we're talking about like face washes ointments yes oils all the super expensive kind of like designer boutique uh kind of things this is all stuff Ela uses she has to bring I, this from I home i brought this with me from home because i'm actually using everything and it's just such a beloved and such an iconic company. You getting this stuff for like 
these are like between five and ten bucks. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you go to design, unheard of a designer brand, it's probably like like you said, a moisturizer that you got for me is it $60. can be like from thirty to a hundred. You know, and then there's like extra expensive, which is just like insane. That's the it's one with insanity. baby foreskin in it. Not even. Potentially. But there's you don't that know the brands too. I know. <laughs> no, but there's no baby foreskin in an ordinary, just really high quality products. And what's so good about this is that it's like as good, if not better, than the super expensive stuff. Oh, I I think it's actually better personally. That's why I use it. I've I've tried the expensive stuff. Yeah, it's not necessarily yeah, yeah. better. The thing is, like, I've always felt like the beauty industry is such BS because ev the markups are insane. And it's like, that can't yeah. be true. And they're really proving that it is just total. Exactly. And it's really hard to tell because, you know, people are just kind of, you're just kind of like in a vulner vulnerable position. You're like, I want my, f my face skin, you know, I don't want wrinkles, I don't want to age. That's want, true. Want they, to do the best they can. Exactly. Exactly. And so you're kind of willing. Well, maybe if I spend more, you know, it's maybe product. it's better. But I, I really don't think so. Yeah. What's your favorite products here? There's, they have so many um, great stuff. On so the like I was kind of saying last time, I really, really love the cleanser because I've had such a hard time finding a good one because they all really dry my skin and this one doesn't. It's Squay Squalane cleanser. This one's like yeah. 10 bucks, I think, for the big bottle. And then I also just love their moisturizer um, because it just feels like clean and good. Like I don't end up too oily and, or dry. Natural Moisturizing Factor plus HA Surface Hydration Formula. And I think this was like five or ten bucks. It's crazy. And then I use the retinol. Tell me about these oils. I'm not so sure. So retinol is like against it's anti-aging. It's like a kinda. drop of oil and you rub it in. This one is not oil exactly, but it's like a. Well, how would you describe it? Retinol, like a serum or something? Yes, yeah, serum maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just yeah you do use a drop like this will last me forever. Yeah, that looks like a lot. And then they have the um, niacinamide. Sam. Yeah, yeah, Sam's got us on that. The niacinamide. <laughs> That, that was actually the first product I ever bought from them. That's how I was introduced to this brand. The niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. Niacinamide. 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 <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> anyway, guys, here's what's so cool. For the whole month of November, they're doing their Slovember sale. It's 23% off the entire website. Except Black Friday, they think that you should take your time and shop and not go into the, sh you know panic buying on black friday so their store is actually not selling stuff on black friday i guess to uh to uh say hey slow down we got 23 percent off the whole month slovember and guys go ahead and follow at, uh the ordinary and decium on instagram and tiktok all november long to I learn say one other thing go ahead since we sponsored with them because they also sent us product i didn't know that they had hair care oh really? so i tried their shampoo and conditioner and I am not exaggerating. <laughs> this conditioner feels like the best thing no ever, ever. It's, it says, and listen to this. It says Benetrinium Chloride 2% conditioner. <laughs> like they are in the lab figuring <laughs> this shit out, dude. That's awesome. It, I want to try it that. It made my hair feel so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it really is such a great company, guys. I and mean, this is my hair, like this is my natural hair and I used these. That's awesome. Guys, when you feel ready to shop, check out TheOrdinary.com for the world-famous science-based skincare at 23% off savings. No code necessary. And um, all The Ordinary and Decium websites and stores will be closed on Black Friday and run a 24-hour live special called Slovember TV where you can meet their team, see their in-house labs, and even get more expert advice. Don't forget to live, shop, live and shop slowly. The Ordinary will be waiting for you. Yes, yes. Uh, link is in the description. It's The Ordinary. Um, and link's in the description. Yeah, 23% off. Thank you guys so much. Thank yeah. you, Ordinary. Love that. And thank you, Ela, for coming by. Yeah. Nice to hear from you. <laughs> We're passionate about this. And also, you know what I'm passionate about? Yeah. Gamer suck! Oh, let's go. Gamer suck nation, dude. Oh, stop, 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 I've been hitting this. Um, yeah, what are you drinking? The black cherry. Did you try that one? Oh, it's really good. It's I the love best. the color. No, it actually I, matches my outfit. Yeah, I usually drink it, but I didn't see that it's purple. I didn't know it was purple either. Mm -hmm. 
Gamer Sub offers the healthiest and best tasting alternative to energy drinks and sodas. GG helps you stay focused during the day without feeling like crap. It has ca- it even has caffeine free options for people that don't want caffeine. Not me. I love this caffeine. It gets me charged up. I feel so freaking good. Yeah. Getting my caffeine, caffeine, work. caffeine through Gamer Sub. I need to bring it with me to work. Like what am I doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's great. Like I, I always say, I used to get so drowsy on the ride home, mm-hmm. and coffee and all this stuff, it doesn't help. For some no. reason, it just doesn't help. And you, you've seen it. It's horrible. Mm-hmm. But Gamer Sub, I drink this during the show, and I drive home so alert wow. and not tired. It's really amazing. Enjoy getting an energy boost to your day by simply throwing two scoops into an ice-filled shaker cup or cold water bottle and shake it up. Tastes great, and it's a healthier alternative than anything with sugar in it. It's probably cheaper than any drink you're drinking currently, too. A lot of people use this product as a gateway to a healthier lifestyle, and that's so true. If you can cut sugar out in any way, Dr. Id's taught us. Diet drinks all the way, man. All the way. Also, you can use code H3 for a discount at checkout. New flavor, guys. We got titty milk (laughs) from Jay Schlatt, guys. Exciting titty milk, ladies and gentlemen. So, go. Oh, did we we get titty milk in yet? I want to try that. I, I think, think there might be. Yeah, oh yeah, next did. time. Next time we get, get hit that titty milk, bro. Do <laughs> that titty milk. Yeah. The only titty milk I'll let you try. Thank you, thank you. What? Not your own? <laughs> hmm. Work on that. Use code H three to get you ten percent off the whole order. The link in the description takes you right to the website and auto applies the discount. I love GamerSub. I'm so grateful and I'm so happy that they're sponsoring us. Thank you to them, GamerSub Nation. <laughs> You're kind of rocking this haircut today. That's what everyone's been talking Sorry about. Sorry to like make no, a complete uh, side like note a real here. It looks like fuckboy TikTok haircut. <laughs> kind of a vibe, Kind of right? good though. <laughs> but then when you realize it's parted in the middle, then yeah. you're like, oh, that's not that good. Would you ever wear it if this was filled in here? No. But buzzed here? No. No. No way. No way. No way. Yeah. Would never happen. Could never that's happen. Okay. I have kids, man. I can't be watching this <laughs> haircut like that. There's just something, there's just something off about it. Uh, we have one more sponsor. The true, always true, the always great. It's Stamps.com. You know them. You love them. It's the holiday season, guys. Let's not get caught up in the hustle and bustle of going to the post office when you got Stamps.com to get you through. Stamps.com has been around for 20 years, serving more than 1 million businesses. Uh, Get access to USPS and UPS services. You need to run your business right from your computer. There's no lines, no traffic, no hassles. You get such deep discounts working with Stamps.com. You get up to 86% off of USPS and UPS shipping rates because they do this whole massive bulk Mm. because there's so many people using the service. But they get massive, massive discounts. Uh, the Dan's girlfriend uses this. Uh, we've talked about it, but how it works is it's revolutionary. You, they send you a scale. You weigh the package right on the desk next to your computer. Mm-hmm. You print the perfect amount of postage. You attach it to the envelope or the package, and they come get it. You can put it in your, um, you know, po- your box, your post box, but you can just put it on the porch, and they come get it. I mean, it's rev- it's cheaper and more convenient. It's yeah. Stamps.com, bro. <laughs> Use stamps.com to print postage wherever you do business. All you need is a computer and a printer. Just like I said. The holiday season. Trade uh, late nights for silent nights. They get started with stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code H3. TV. TH3. Because it says H3 here, Dan. I know. And we had a whole conversation about it, and then I actually just sent you a message to remind you. <laughs> yeah, you said your message was super confusing. You said, okay. it's stamps.com slash H3, not H3 TV. But it says stamps.com slash H3. Or it says code H3. Let's move on. <laughs> Sign up for the code uh, uh, promo code H3 for a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. There's no long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code H3. Uh, also, yeah, get four-week trial, free postage, and a digital scale, stamps.com slash H3. Thank you, Stamps. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Stamps.com. Wow, we love them. What great sponsors, guys. Mm-hmm. Please support our sponsors. Uh, they, they, they are just the best. So, There it is. Um, cool. 
What? How you doing, Ella? Nice to see you. What? what, what Good. What? Busy at work. Look who just got verified. McDuck. Yeah. McDuck. Oh. McDuck, <laughs> dude. McDuck, dude. Yeah. It's the McDuck, yeah. dude. Wait, I paid for it. Oh, you I paid for it. it. Oh, he's he missing the bio. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I wanted to specify. I did not. <laughs> yeah, because it's been bare. Wow. I mean, It'd be so humiliating to actually how pay for it. Yeah, it was so, cornball shit, yeah. for sure. And, and how far have we come where you don't even have a Twitter anymore and Ian is verified? I know. Wow. Oh, the world is wow. upside down. <laughs> Something's wrong. As they said in uh, Alexander Hamilton, the world turned upside down. Thank you. Can I, Ethan, can I ask you, because I linked a thing now that it's verified official, the tweet I put in the doc. Yeah. Can you tell me if you've ever done this? Because Sam and I had a huge argument about this. You guys had a huge argument? Here, let me see. Yes. Um, it says, scientific, when you were younger, did you ever get on the bathroom sink and bend over so you could see your own asshole? Okay. What? And I took a picture, if you scroll down a little bit, just like this. I'm sure <gasps> I have. Yeah, I'm sure I did. I'm sure I did. You really? Yeah. Okay. At least once in my life. Okay. That was my answer too. Yeah, it's like I don't remember specifically, I'm but sure I did. Yeah, probably. But you're like, what does a butthole look like? Right. And then, and then, yeah, I'm sure I did. Stand up on a sink. I, I how else you gonna see it? Verified. <laughs> and bend over. What? There, there are ways to. S yeah. Much easier ways. Well, maybe you're not, not smart really, enough to think not, of that when you're eight. I mean, I I'm talking about like a little kid, and if you're this curious. is the only mirror you have access to, there's not really right. an easier way. That is true. This is the one and only way to see a butthole. At that I was age. Surprised. The poll said that uh, it was like 34% yes. So one out of three people you walk by. The <laughs> I think they're lying. Done that at some point. But I think they're lying. I think more people have done it than are leading more. Okay. Or they just don't remember. Because again, I don't remember specifically doing it, but it's just, I'm just inferring know, like, yeah, probably. Wait, wait, you don't think you ever did that, Elon? Uh, it's just specifically the fact that you guys said you... Mm -hmm ever get on the bathroom sink and bend over no i've never done that ne that, that never crossed my mind movement okay okay all right uh, <laughs> well i have <laughs> okay we did not go. do that dance Ela and i yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, you guys had a huge argument about this huh sam well, <laughs> well sam she's not here but um she she was like baffled <laughs> the thing and i tech we had a chat with zach i texted zach mm. zach and me was like it's Weird if you didn't do this. <laughs> I think it's a guy thing. thing. I don't know. It's a yeah, guy. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Uh, wait, AB, have you done it or not? I may have gone more to the side more than under, just kind of like a. <laughs> right, like a twist. Yeah. What? You can't see your asshole from the side. Well, it depends on how flexible you are, I guess. He's, he's That's essentially a yes. He's just like <laughs> maybe taking issue with the mechanics a little bit. But... Ow. 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 <laughs> well, there it is. So, congratulations on the check mark. Thank I'm you. paying him back for the Mr. Verified. Um, yeah, it's about time. Oh, great. We all have uh, our new overlord to thank here. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Ian. So moving on. Oh, Dan's going to eat the spicy chip. Eli, you want to oh watch my this? God. Kana, I was supposed to have a meeting now, but we moved it to move tomorrow. Move it. Cancel yeah, it. Move it. <laughs> move it Clear your books. <laughs> Yo, um, this is happening. By the way, I have a question before we get into this. Is the Andrew Tate thing not working? Because I feel like there are usually more people watching, and I wonder if people are just over Andrew Tate. No! <laughs> Let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. What do you think is better? It, the poll is not helpful at all. Why? Because these are the people that are watching. You need to poll the people that aren't watching. <laughs> but I bet you it's... Uh, right, okay. Well, uh, we, how can we poll the people that aren't watching? I, I'm not sure, but... My neck doesn't exist. No, do the poll. Andrew t is defending Andrew Tate seriously uh, good clickbait or, or bad? Good or bad? Fuck yeah. yes. Fuck yes. <laughs> Whoa, there's a new, there's something new in here. <coughs> there's a Q&A feature. Oh. Start a Q&A, answer viewers' questions live. We'll have to check that out. I don't know what that is, but there's a new button. Anyways, um, is... Do it live! It is a good segment, by the way. Is Andrew defending Tate. Andrew Tate uh, good clickbait? Was that the... Yeah, one? yeah, 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 yeah. You know what it might be? Yeah. We don't have your Twitter, uh, Twitter to promote the episode. It no, has... I don't think that makes a big difference. Mm, we we can just put it on ours, Amy. <laughs> yeah, Ian, you guys are Ian, too. Yeah, I mean... Ian too, yeah. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't think it matters, the Twitter shit. Although maybe it does. Maybe I got fucked. Maybe I fucked myself. 
But the the thing is, the story is very good, the Andrew Tate one. I actually do think that. Strong lead for the nose. Okay, okay, let's try this then, Dan. Let's try one more. Add all three, add defending Andrew Tate, Dan eats the hot chip, Elon Musk is ruining Twitter. Which is the best one to lead with? Go, Dan. <laughs> you vote for the best one. Which is the best one to lead with? Go. Make it happen, Dan. Don't roll your eyes. This is your job. Me? I'm a man of God. Not really, man. I'm, okay. I'm working the, here. You see the trend. I'm yeah, the one getting plowed. Uh, yeah, Andrew Tate I mean, yeah. converted to Islam you'll, you'll like know. two days ago. Oh, what? But now he's like talking about Islamophobia and getting all <laughs> defensive. <laughs> he went woke. <laughs> he literally converted two days ago. And this dude's like oh out there like God. Malcolm X or some shit. Elon <laughs> <laughs> Musk is ruining Twitter. Chat is spamming titter. I guess I said titter. You did. Nice. Shut up. You did. You, you Shut up. up, dude. All right, this okay, is titties. this is the actually. Poll is up. I personally find this information really useful because you just never know, dude. Okay, Dan eats the hot chip, really. Our fans no, of course care not. about no. us. <laughs> I feel like Dan's right. It's not going to help. Yeah. Again, they, we're polling the people that are watching. Yeah. This is not. This is. But not last place is Andrew. I think we got to change. The, I think we got to change the titles around. Okay. Put an, defending Andrew Tate at the back. We are switching it all up. Dan eats the hottest chip in the world. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna dress that one up. So I'm um, if should I stay? Uh, it's already absolutely. Too, it's okay, too long. I'll go run to the bathroom now. Okay, okay. Dan eats eats the hot chip. Eats it's already the, too long. Yeah, Dan eats the hot chip. Well, you could take out the seriously from Andrew Tate. Okay, you drop that. Thank you guys. This is uh. This is important. I want to stop the show in its tracks. Oh my god. I am rolling my eyes at that, just to be clear. Yeah, thank you for clarifying. I appreciate that. Ian eats the hottest chip in you say the Ian? world. Huh? You say Ian? I said Dan. Oh. Uh, it's too long by one character. What can I erase? Just the erase these notes! Yo, let's fucking go. Neuter me, baby! I don't think this research is objective enough. You don't think this is a good, uh... No. Stati people... You, you think that... I want to see Dan eat the ship the most, but I think more people would click for the other stuff. I don't know, actually. They might be onto something. Let's... Well, we'll keep an eye on the views and see. And, uh, I don't know what to erase. To I think we just got to go back to eats the hot chip instead of hottest. No, 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 no! Don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> Delete. 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 Dan, uh, For, oh, here, here we go. How about Dan eats the world's hottest chip? Love that. There, that's shorter. Happening. It's all happening. By clicking delete. Lena, are you ready to re um to re challenge me? Because I want to I want to fight you back for the title. Can we get some extra chips? We have to have an event. So we, we tried to get more what? Uh, this morning, and they were not available in any of the stores that yeah. they sell them in. Oh, so. You were going to have them ready for me today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would have eaten it. I would. Uh, I know. Well, uh, let's have, we can make a special event of it. Me versus, versus Lena. Well, so, Who should I eat this today then? No, no, no. Or should we do like today? a big it's a separate hot event, chip Dan. thing? Nice okay. try. Nice try, dude. <laughs> I'm totally down for that. Yeah, it'll be fun. We can set it up like a boxing match and mm -hmm. just see who can go the longest. Cause I think I can do it. Oh, don't! Aren't I supposed to like use gloves or something so I don't fucking destroy my beat, eyes? Yeah, if you're trying to beat my time, I'm definitely down to go again. Because how can you do it and then you know I don't get another chance? Because after you pass the six minutes, is that how long I went for? Yeah, you went for yeah, yeah and then six. you beat me so. No, we'll do it at the same time, Lena. Oh, okay. We'll do it together at the same time. The winner, you know what I mean? Just duking it out. Joker brain style. <laughs> Yo, they okay. doubled the price on Amazon of these things. 20 bucks? They're 18.50 now. What the fuck? I paid like like seven or eight bucks. And that was insane already. Yeah. 18.50 for one chip. Is that now. by the distributor or is that like yeah, a resale? Yeah, by, by the, the what? Tucky store. Taki? They know what they have. The shit went viral. Taki A Q U I. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I need to get my ass Hockey. in the hot chip business. Yeah, for real. Twenty dollars. <laughs> Twenty dollars for one chip. hot chip. Mm-hmm. Well, we only need two more. That's hot, dude. That's th that's hot. 
What's the prize this time? It's an experience. Oh, know? really? You're shaking me down, Lena? You want to know what's the prize? <laughs> I'm just wondering. <laughs> That's all. Because the there belt? is a prize. We should make a belt. <laughs> oh, a belt. Money! That gets passed, passed around. For we can make a trophy. We can make a, a, a spicy chip trophy. That'd be cool. Gift I mean, I'm defending my title, so. You want a belt. You want to come in with the belt. Mm -hmm. uh, what about a gift card to Sharky's? Does that sound <laughs> like you? I like the trophy idea better. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll get Sharky's then. $100. So, again. All right, so Dan. Last time we did this, the there was like now. a whole hoopla. Everybody was Stop all trying to dodge the draft. No, I'm not dodging anything. Where's my gloves? Where's the milk? Where's like all the accessories? I'm not being taken Is care of right now. Is here on this table? Yeah, come here. Come sit. Yeah, spot? you're right. Yeah, yeah. Come, 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 come. Uh -huh. come. Position. Thank, Thank you. Uh, Let's do it like we did all the everybody else. Yeah. Either why don't you go sit in the scorpion chair? Yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> All right, so Dan is joining me in the hot seat. Thank you. A little play on words there for you. Appreciate that. So Dan is finally at long last, chip in hand. Oh yeah. Weeks in the making, oh, yeah. months in the making. How are you feeling, Dan? Uh, you know, I know it's gonna suck, but I, I, I'm okay with spicy stuff. I'm okay. not. I'm not. I'm not gonna build it up like oh no big deal this is definitely gonna suck but i'm not like super nervous and Next. what's the hottest thing you've eaten before well i've had the fucking ultimate hot ones hot sauce when uh sean evans came right. on the show and actually i took that home and i used it a few times okay because that i feel like that is really doesn't compare to this just for the record you think that the the pepper x like hot sauce that no. they had is not as spicy as this no Woo! not even close oh boy what is uh, well uh, I don't know. You got a coconut uh, dessert bar. How nice. I guess that's just to cool the mouth a little bit. And we got honey milk and oat. Oh, I recommend, to, like I did to everybody else, to take a sip of Pepto-Bismol before. I did a few minutes ago. How are you going to milk and oat? How you milk and oat? All right, everybody's excited. This is this has been a long time coming. We got gloves coming. We're bringing in the gloves. We're bringing in the gloves. Check that packaging, Ethan. Make sure he's not a... Uh tampered with You're that music little fucking weird zach it just stays up the whole time like oh like and we need some i got other shit don't pacing, this is the, is the intro okay okay yeah no it's it's not been tampered with it's legit okay okay now the way that i recommend uh, is to cr do it crunch it up so you can do it at all at once so it doesn't touch the side of your mouth you know what i mean it doesn't touch your lips that seems like cheating is that what you did no we all did that i don't know about that we all did. That. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it like uh, Abuela in that one video where she was just like just slowly <laughs> eating it. And like, well, hold on. Before you big deal? before you do it, do we have someone got a timer on standby? I've got a stopwatch. Okay, good. Okay, great. Okay, so the time to beat is six minutes, which was Lena's. My, I think I went for what four minutes or three and a half minutes. Three. Oh minutes. right, a that's like chat. how long until you take we have a it sip in the or dock. whatever. Oh, it's in the dock here. Yeah. Let me pull yeah, it up. This shit looks so gross. It's hor. The take the. Like, it why tastes is it, really it's bad, like green. Because it, 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 it has a bunch of dye to turn your tongue blue. Gotcha. Yeah. It's not mold, right? No, no, no. I don't <laughs> think anything could grow on that, bro. <laughs> That's a good point. Here's a screenshot of all the times we got, just to refresh everybody's. I did 320. Lena, of course, is the reigning champ at 614. Do you feel like you're going to be able to beat um, Lena? No. 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 Are no, that was insane. That was an insane act of endurance. Yeah. Like, I am still blown away that she lasted that Are long. you going to try to beat me in second place? <sighs> I know this takes the fun out of it, but frankly, I'm not trying to beat anybody. I'm yeah. going right. like, to, like, I'll, I'll hold on as long as I can, but if it's, if it's horrible, I'm just going to drink the fucking milk. Okay, all right, all right. We, we, we appreciate I, I don't the have candor. The, I don't have the machismo yeah, uh, yeah. attitude about this. Okay, so uh, without further ado, let's... Thing? Oh, there's, there's like a little bit yeah. broken then, off. Can you bring? I want to get the crumbs off the desk so like the dogs don't eat it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. So you're not gonna break it. You're going all in, Abue abuelo abuela style. Abuela style. I definitely don't recommend abuela style because it just lingers. Dude, it in just your mouth. it smells disgusting. It, the taste is awful. I'm not gonna lie. It's just fucking putrid. What does that even smell like? It doesn't smell like food. Well, the ingredients is quite simple. It I think it's just like oil and spice. It's just a ton it smells of spice. like one of the aisles at Home Depot. Like it smells. Saw does. It smells like industrial. <laughs> Thank you, AB. All right, so um, Here, what I recommend is put. Let me grab one of those. Yeah, yeah. Put it in your mouth, 
and then take off the glove and throw the glove out. Yeah, okay? I'm just trying to get that last chunk out of here. Yeah, and there grab that piece. You throw that in here. Bye bye. And that one too. Don't forget that one, of course. Oh, that one you're supposed to eat, but it's okay. Later. That was just some of the powder. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. We've been waiting. This is exciting. The views are going up, by the way. People are capping. I'm the fuck. Andrew Tate's out. Dan eats the chip is in. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good luck, Dan. We're here. We're all here for you, buddy. Go We're off, proud king. of you too. We're go proud off, of you. Thank you. Thank go you. Go off, King. Go off, King. Here he goes. Okay, so he's executing a traditional chip bite. It's all in his mouth. You may want to take off the glove, Dan, and then throw it in here before you before the heat sets in too much. Good. Good. And I'll, excuse me. I'll just clean the desk off. So Dan is, um, I see you got some chip residue Can on I your- Can I take a sip just to wash it down? Yeah, 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 we did that, because it's so dry- Yeah. That we did allow one sip for washing it down. Scoot closer to Ethan, Dan. Yes, yeah, uh, come closer to me. So Dan is in the throes of chip. He ate the whole thing. I see you got some residue on your lips. Your lips hurt? There you go. Dan has not said a word yet. The fire is rising. Are you, are you speechless? That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. <laughs> oh no, Dan is speechless. You can't say anything. Woo. Nothing is on fire. So I how did it taste? Nothing. It's disgusting. It's yeah. like awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are your lips burning? No. No. It's on okay. my throat. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Your eyes are. You're watering. Definitely eyes gonna get some watering eyes. Yeah. Flame of fire is gonna come out that butthole. <laughs> Woo. Talk to us. I just, no, I need to go to my, like, okay. Zen Dan, Garden for a second. Dan is going to Zen Garden. Give us how much time, how, how long has he been going, Ian? Uh, we're at a minute ten. One ten, not bad. You're already going to beat Zach and his ass. fucking, like, ugh. the, like, green residue. Yeah, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Yeah, it is. It's very, it's very, very gross. And it's very, like, uh, mealy, and it gets stuck in your teeth and shit. Yeah. <laughs> this is awful. Oh. <laughs> yeah, actually, this is, this is awful. Except for the tears coming down your eyes, you're very well composed. Uh, oh my god, he's doing great. I gotta say, I'm very impressed so far, Dan. You're just kind of <laughs> in an alternate realm. I do not like seeing Dan like this. I, I'm like, I, I, I'm noticing how much I care for you right now. Yeah, Dan. yeah. I'm feeling yeah. really bad. I feel horrible. Really? I'm having you to be announced twice. This, but I'm, a, I, this. I'm super amused by this. I don't know what you guys are talking uh, about. Two minutes. He's fine. He's killing us. He's guys sitting there about? crying. Dan, you really Dan is good. He's doing pillar. great. He's conquering this <laughs> challenge. Dan, you're gonna, he's laughing. He's gonna I'm come a, out. I want to wipe my face, but I'm still afraid of. Abe, like, do I need you to, should be uh, good. You had the glove on. You uh, oh, threw the glove off. Your hand should be clean. Yeah. Okay. Nose is running too. Oh my god. Is it getting worse or better? No, it's just bad. Just shit. Yeah. It's just and, a nice even shit. And, and how does this compare to the the, the hot sauce, the hot ones? I mean, it's been a few years since I had that. I feel like the thing is, is that one kind of tasted good. Right. Right. So at least you had that going. This is just. You're doing great, man. What's it? What's the time at, Ian? We're at uh, two fifty. Two fifty. You're rounding the corner. You're approaching my time. What was your time? Three twenty. I mean, again, it's not getting worse. So, like, I feel like I could just. I probably. You could think you could beat keep, Lena? I don't know. It's a matter of want. It's like, yeah, maybe if I care it enough, but. I'll beat you, and then I'm gonna drink. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But if you beat me, that means you have to compete in the. No, uh, no, 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 no. We don't. We don't have to do that. Well, you seem you totally fine. I'm just gonna be just straight. Just about at uh, 320, which is Ethan's. All right. Wow, keep pushing, uh, bro. You can beat Lena. Dan, man up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude, you can take the title right now. You seem in the zone, bro. We'll see. Okay, you're pushing. Push, I'll, bro. I'll try. I yeah, guess. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, Here, let me move this so we can see your face a little bit. I'd like to see the, dude, uh, the face of... Uh, the tears are streaming, man. It's hot. It's hot. I mean, what do we expect? So is that the hottest thing you've eaten, would you say? I, I don't know how I could say no. Yeah. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. It is for me, and I did all. I did, like... The thing is, it's on a different level, because it's like, it's not food. It's just... 
Four, oh, uh, four minutes. <laughs> it hey, is. Dan, your eyes look super blue in contrast to your oh, red thank face. You. That's so nice for you to say. Yeah, I mean, it, it is, like you said. It's like pepper spray. It's like, it's yeah, not right. food. It's more like getting mace yeah, than like yeah. eating something. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. And did this give you more respect for Abuela who ate this? And yeah, didn't I mean, play? I knew watching that video that she was a queen. But yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Dan, you're doing amazing. You got this, Dan. Do you want me to give you time updates, or do you just want to push through? Just... Just let it be, man. <laughs> okay. Just let it be. So t so God of War is pretty good, right? Pretty excited yeah. about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just came out funny. yesterday. Last night, we were all playing. I just kicked over the spicy hot. Whew. I feel like my, my hands are tingling, man. My hands are tingling, man. <laughs> it's not your fault. It's not your fault. And now, well, now that you've gone through it, do you think AB was overreacting? <laughs> no, because I mean, he said he can't handle spicy at all. Right. And if that's the case, I mean, this is miserable. No, yeah. AB certainly wasn't overreacting. Yeah, yeah that, that, was that was the was worst real. episode since I've worked here. Between He's... almost going to the hospital and then making the flock a face after. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> it's just been is downhill it... since then. Is it against the rule to spit? Because that's like no. the main thing that's fucking me. I don't there. think so. Where Here's that trash can. Go I'll grab it. W Dan. We're uh, at about five and a half minutes. Oh my god. W Dan. W Dan. It's just like, it's just like a, a spicy syrup in my mouth. Dude, you're it's pro you're probably just salivating and making Dan all this music. It's a self de it's a self defense mechanism. Yeah. Dan. Dude, you're getting close. Lena, you fucked up. You threw mm -hmm. the gauntlet and Dan's about to take the dub here. I'm proud of him. I want him to do good. Thank you. Thank wow, you, Lena. Sweetheart. See, she's Always supportive. nice. I wish I was nice like Lena. My hands are tingling though. Like, what? Is, what does that mean? Are you like a scary way? I, I don't like know. I don't know. Wolf? I don't know if I should be scared. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> My hands are going numb. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, uh, this fucking sock. Go dude. ahead. Ian, give the time. Uh, we're at about six fifteen. You beat it. What? You You're beat, beat it. Already? Beat it? Yeah, you're done. <laughs> All right. You beat it. I'm gonna milk this out right stop now. Stop it, and you can stop it. Stop the count. Just, wait, stop you want to just you want to just round it out to seven? You're so close. <laughs> What's he at? He is at uh, just about six forty. Maybe don't drink anything. That's <laughs> <a lot. laughs> I'm more. eager for this right now. Go ten just, hours. Mostly just then. to wash out the face or to wash out the mouth. How much longer, Ian? We do the countdown. Case. You just gotta go. Uh, let's see. All right, ten, nine, nine eight. No, you start to count ten. Five, four, three, two, two one. Right. Woo! Woo! Wow, a new champion. Seven minutes on the clock. Dan Swerdlove swerving Lena. W Go Dan. Off, Go w Dan. Off, Taking the L today. Oh. From Weena, from Weena to Lena, she's number two now. Well, well I do want to note that. I mean, I stopped at six because, you know, I could have gone longer, but I was already at that point, and you guys were like, okay, maybe that's enough. Right. Just making Is excuses. She right. Yeah. Excuses. Uh. Don't blame me. <laughs> well, you you will have your uh, your Woo! opportunity at redemption. There's something on the line now, Lena. Yes. I won't be I'm looking forward if, to it. If you want to beat me, you go right ahead. You're not gonna compete. No. I mean, maybe I'll feel differently later, but in this moment, no. You have nothing to prove, dude. Oh. You have nothing to prove. This man right here is a champion. <laughs> wow. You feel proud of yourself? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Is the I can't think right now. Is it's the oat just, milk helping at all, or is that just... Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Yeah, you'll find, I think in 10 minutes, you'll be totally fine. That's how it was for us. Right. Once you start drinking the liquor. I mean, now that I've done it, like, again, that was spicy as fuck. By no means am I going to say it wasn't spicy, but my love of spicy food definitely helped me here. Because it's like, I've been, I haven't been here, but I've been close. You know You've what I mean? You've been training your whole life. Right. Yes, yes. <laughs> I think you'll be fine, you know, and I went home, the, the shitting wasn't that bad, the stomach wasn't that, I just felt a little, it's really not that bad, you'll w be fine, Dan. You're, you're a pro, W Dan indeed, Wayne. well there it is, Dan, Wayne. ladies Whew. and gentlemen, <laughs> the belt goes to you my friend, real top D is, are you okay? I'm an honor, oh, what an yeah honor. I'm fine, I'm fine, it's, 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 are you gonna this be, this sucks a, dude, are you, it fucking sucks, yeah, yeah, 
True. Are you going to be returning to the scorpion chair, Dan, or are you going to need a moment? I'll be re returning to some chair, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, the toilet. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you ready to shit already? No, no. No joke. Probably soon, though. Let me. I'm going to hit some more of this Pepto. It's yeah, probably a good idea, right? The Pepto is, is definitely a good idea. Yeah. The more, the better, in my opinion. <sighs> Dan is swir sloshing Pepto-Bismol Pepto in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That was great. I'm glad we did that. You know, that was so worth it. Uh, there's uh, so much hype around it. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you think Zach was being dramatic? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little baby bitch. <laughs> yeah, because Zach had like a crumb and freaked out. <laughs> I shouldn't, yeah, AV, I shouldn't even be mentioning you. You fucking ate that whole thing with a beast. Yeah. Thank you. I, I mean, yeah. I, even a, a crumb, though, in Zach's defense, I think it was hot. But it was a little funny when Cam was up there doing it, and Zach's like, I think my throat's closing. Yeah, I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> Call 911. Well, I actually, in, in Zach's defense, it does. The, the throat irritation is the worst part, I would say. Even mm -hmm. worse than the spicy in your mouth. Mm. When my friend Neil bent over, this happened. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you, Dan. Uh, back to the scorpion right, chair. Thank you, thank you. You did great. Really, wow. What a show. I'll get rid of my spit bucket. Yeah, please. Thank you. Unexpected. I'm taking this with me, though. Unex you want this? You have the. This yeah, I guess. Too. I don't even know what it is. And it, it, it's a coconut popsicle. All right. Okay. And then that was an unexpected showing. I mean, this just shook up the whole game. Mm -hmm. um, speechless, frankly. Incredible. Damn. Absolutely. What's the chat saying? They're stoked, man. They're Wan. calling you Wan. W. Wan. Dan. Yeah, Wan. Wan. <clears throat> Never do that. Don't let him oh, Ela, you still owe us a hot chip. Don't let him talk to you. Man. Yeah, Ela, don't. Do you want to compete? We're going to do the spicy hot chip world record for around Christmas time. Me and live Lena. Show? What? At the live show? Oh, the live show? Are you sure that's a good idea? That's a horrible yeah. idea. Everybody's like... <laughs> Just silently watching <laughs> us suffer and shit. Oh, did you get lunch, Hila? Mm -hmm. Let me see. I'm More. hungry. What'd you get? Make sure the address is on the bag, Lena. Lunch time! Well, I'm shocked, man. That was so badass. Yeah. Well, speechless. <sighs> speechless. Yeah. Well, let's move on. I mean, how do we mo even move on? Would you get a salad? It's, um... Nah, not it's really. It's this, like, healthy bowl with... Oh, interesting. Look grains and avocado. Damn, that looks kind of good. Yeah. Rice, avocado. King mm. a little bit. Okay. Olives. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> let's talk about the election real fast. I know we have leftovers tomorrow, but it's such fresh news. And I just want to say that I'm so happy... We have good shit. Uh, yeah. The, the meltdown has begun this morning, like conservative meltdown. Oh my God. And there are some fire clips I've already found. Has Lor Lauren Boebert said anything yet? She's, uh, unless it happened during the show, uh, completely silent from her. That's incredible, actually. That that I'm surprised she's not talking about fraud and stuff already. Just her ass got she was beat fraud. down. It, so it'll probably come, but the fraud talk has been minimal. Yes, I've noticed that. I, they're they're so more, nice. I think they know they fucked up. That's it's so nice. It's actually so nice. Yeah, so midterms happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. Everyone, including myself, was expecting the Dems to just get wiped out. I was blowout. scared. A blowout. And not only did that not happen, the, the races that I think a lot of people really cared about, for the most part, the Dems crushed. And actually, what's even better is that all the psycho Trump MAGA election fraudsters, they all got dominated. A lot of them did. They, I mean, some, like, except for like the MTG won again by like 70% or something. But That does restore some hope. Yes, it does. It actually does. It really a does. Lot. Yeah. And I mean, Lauren Boeber, I, we've talked about her on the show before, but she is yeah. one of the worst people. She is just a vile, mm -hmm. disgusting woman. And um, the fact that she lost is just, ugh, it, it, it just makes me so encouraged. It makes me so, oh, so good. We should say it's not 100% yet. 
Mm. Just oh. so we Bobert? We She's stunned, dude. The, the count's still happening and it's very close, but it, it's looking like it's done. But wasn't it? Unless at like there's 98%? been a call in the last two hours. Dan, I'm impressed you're still functioning. Yeah, you're doing too, Dan. That's you're normal. <laughs> yeah, you're you are the man, dude. Do you want another popsicle? <laughs> I kind of want another one just because these are really fucking okay, good. I'll grab one. <laughs> Bro, you, Dan. I've never had these before. I don't usually like coconut stuff, too, and this is... This oh, one. coconut popsicles are by far yeah. the best. I'm into it. W. Dan, bro. Yeah, W. Dan. Uh, here. Well, here's from two hours ago. Lauren Boebert is trailing. Coming down to the wire. Last I heard... Oh, this is so good. Look at this. Um, here's Lauren at her... Party. She was pulling ahead. Everyone thought she was mm. going to crush, right? She's super popular. She's like one of the faces of the new Republican Party, right? I mean. Yep. And there's her husband who uh, whipped his dick out to a bunch of teenagers. At a bowling alley, at right? At a bowling alley? Yeah, he showed his dick to minors. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, he's actually a sex. He's probably, is he on the sex offender list probably? He has to be. Yeah, he has to be. So that's cool. By the way. The memes are already coming, Dan. Every time I see those no show <laughs> today tweets, <laughs> destroyed Dan. Yeah, so here she is. They're loving it. They're winning. And here they are. Oh, man. I think they're praying. It's no. actually funny to me. Uh, it's the, the mood has gone down, unfortunately. And they're asking God for please, God. Please, God. <laughs> Let the people in line. To vote, be struck and down. <laughs> Let him die, God. Lord Jesus, I send up my prayer to strike down the Democrats. Let them develop Parkinson's right before they fill that bubble, Lord. Amen. So this is just honestly, and even though... Uh, they still took the house by a narrow margin, honestly. They're supposed to blow out like 25 seats, and they are now are only going to gain like four. I saw <clears throat> some. There's still a scenario where they only wind up with one. Dude, wow. one seat. <laughs> it's so great. I mean, this is one of the best showings of an incumbent president ever, I've heard. Because usually I mean, the incumbent gets annihilated in the midterms. I kind of felt like, I mean, I was hoping for something like this because of everything that's happened, like abortions. Yeah. I mean, that just like upset all the women yeah. in the country, as far mm -hmm. as I'm concerned. I don't know about the pro-abortion, but, you know, that's a lot of people. So I, I was kind of hoping for something like this, but I really felt like there was no hope. Yeah. <laughs> I was so, I was honestly so nihilistic about this, or yeah. fatalistic, I was just like, I was this like, is it, I, I don't know. I don't even want to watch anything yesterday. I felt like I didn't even want to watch anything about the elections. I was just kind of scared. Well, and the polls were getting worse and worse the closer we got. And it was looking like the Republicans would take the House and Senate. And now they're barely going to take the House. And the Dems, it looks like, are going to not only keep the Senate, but potentially even pick up a seat, which is just mm -hmm. nuts. It's just nuts. Here, but yeah, I mean, I'm just so encouraged by this, and I want to basically thank everybody watching because it seems like the the young people, the millennials, that are the Generation Z, was, they came out. They actually came out, and that's Both, why yeah. these old fucks oh, always yeah. win these elections. Mm -hmm. uh, is because young people have never been mobilized, and p they actually went out and voted. So I want to thank everybody who watching this show. And that's why I think it's so important what like what Hassan does, for example. I think it's so important. He's one of the mm -hmm. biggest Twitch streamers, and he's popularizing politics. leftist politics. And in a totally. landscape, all you see is like Crowder and Ben Shapiro and all these mm -hmm. fuckwads. And so to me, even the leftovers probably generates people that absolutely hate me, want to kill me. Oh, yeah. And all <laughs> that. It's so worth it because I see stuff like this. And I'm not, I'm not going to say that leftovers had an effect or anything, but I think that just mainstreaming leftist politics mm -hmm. to the young people, like on YouTube, is such a dub. And I love that you guys all went out and voted. It's just so encouraging. It's so great. Keep doing it. We're getting those old fucks out. Good luck with all of that leftovers. Well, in my opinion, <laughs> not, you know, because you, no, you, you don't want to, like you said, it's not just because of leftovers or even just Hassan. But... What both 
Hassan and you do is, I think, gives a voice to politics coming from you know more left perspective that isn't so um, that isn't so, for lack of a better term, uh, preachy and annoying. Like you guys, you guys are uh, you guys are funny, and you and you funny, and you're a little, and you especially, Ethan, are your humor can be edgy and um, and transgressive. And, you know, just showing that, you know, it doesn't have to all be whiny scolding, you know? There's a, there's a positive spin that can be put on it um, to make it fun and engaging and, and entertaining at the same time without coming off as just preachy and... Nobody's fucking listening you know. to Nancy Pelosi when she says That's what I'm out. saying. Nobody like, cares. I think for a long time, it, justifiably or not, the perception has been that, you know, left uh, politics is uh, kind of cringe and annoying. Yeah. Even, you know, even if you agree yeah. with it. And um, Actually, and it's been so easy for the conservatives to just make caricatures, like insane yes. caricatures mm-hmm. of the left. Right. That, exactly. like, we could put in kitty boxes in schools and that. We're trying to uh, we're trying to cut off uh, the genitals of children and all. It's just insanity. Right. And I'm seeing people say that uh, it encouraged them to vote, and that just I think that that makes me feel like so nice and so good, and uh, just so encouraged that the future isn't all doom and gloom, and we're not all doomed to just being fucked over by a bunch of psychopaths, thick Christian nationalist fascists. Yeah. And that's great. Love it. You know, I think the young people, those culture war shit just doesn't work on them. Like the trans scare that they turn into like the whole talking point of their campaign is about like trans people somehow. And the young people, they don't fucking care about that. They know trans people. They know gay people. They're not, they don't mm-hmm. buy that shit. They know what the fuck is actually going on. Yeah. It's all the old pieces of shit that watch Fox News who are like 10 months away from dying, and then it's like, you gotta fuck up the world 10 months before your ass dies and is in the ground. Not everyone's young and healthy. (laughs) (laughs) You know, the real irony, too, is all of the people that we constantly uh, dunk on, like the Daily Wire folks and Matt Walsh and everything, they're the ones that have been leading the charge on trying to make the election about all this culture war stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think the reality is, and I even, they're already crying about it. We'll we'll watch some clips of it on... uh, Leftovers, but they're blaming the GOP establishment, you know, the more traditional Republicans for fucking them over in this election because of, uh, you know, they're not they're not MAGA enough. They're not uh, fiery enough with what they're saying. And if only they had listened to them. And frankly, I think it's quite the opposite. The the reason the GOP had so much momentum right now is because of just basic ass shit like inflation. Like, yeah, that, that's way better messaging like the trans stuff. Like you said, I mean, the reality is trans people are extremely rare. Most people don't know anybody who's trans and and never and very likely never will. Um, and, you know, making the election about that, I think, was a strategic error on the whole MAGA Q side of the Republican Party, because it's just uh, people aren't that passionate about it. And you know what, Dan, it's nice to see you. You're actually crying now. <laughs> I've been seeing the comments and I'm about it. I, all emotional really about sweet. it right now. Yeah, it's really sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just I'm real. I'm real worked up. He even complimented you. Dan you, complimented yeah. Wait, you did? Yeah, I did. He said that you, he you're did? funny. You talk you about politics funny. and funny. <laughs> you think I'm funny, Dan? <laughs> Then it's not funny. I'm kidding. You're not funny. Somebody said trans people aren't that rare. Listen, they are less, less than one percent. Less than one yeah. percent of people identify as trans. That's yeah. that's all I mean. I understand there's plenty of trans people, but my point is just making that the centerpiece of your election was a strategic error on their part because it's just not it's not that relevant to a lot of just average Americans. You no, know? you're right. As as a percentage of the population, it's a very small percentage of the population. Not saying they don't exist, you know. What I mean? You know, he's trying to say for sure. Something. Don't come on, don't take it the wrong way. But yeah, also some other good stuff like um, California and uh, a couple other states uh, legalized uh, women's right to choose in the state constitution, which we love to see enshrined it. Um, there's a Dr. Oz got walloped. Fuck Dr. Oz, that bitch-ass quack motherfucker. Go back to selling supplements and slot buckets, you loser bitch. <laughs> Why the fuck did you think you could be the beat the Fetty Wap? What did he try to vote to run for? He was a Republican. Ba- Trump backed. 
He was running for Senate in yeah, Senate. Uh, Pennsylvania. And he got walloped by the big fat... Show, show Ela a picture. I have a picture of him in there. He's such a king. You're gonna love this guy, Ela. Dude, dude shows up in like gym shorts, bro. <laughs> yeah, this you gotta, you gotta show, it? he's a shorts king. <laughs> this is why Ethan loves him so much. <laughs> in shorts. He's copping Ethan's style. Look at this. Oh. This is my boy right here. Mm -hmm. Dude, he's a unit. He's like <laughs> six eight or something, isn't he? He's so powerful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get fucked, Dr. Oz. <laughs> Fuck Dr. Oz, bro. That guy's a loser. And he's a little bitch, too. He's like... You want to talk about soy boys or whatever the fuck that means. He's just like a little fucking weasel ass motherfucker. <laughs> Hate him. Now here's a unit. <laughs> that man's wearing shorts and there's snow on the ground. You want to talk about masculinity? That's masculinity. <laughs> That's your kind of Stanced man. Up. That's my kind of man right there. <laughs> He is kind of giving that. Hashtag uh, relatable. Giving, he is giving this. He's giving Gru a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I like that. If he was in shorts, that's a vibe. <laughs> that's a vibe for sure. Love that. Yeah, so Dr. Oz lost. Lauren, Lauren Boebert lost. Unfortunately, um, uh, what's her name? The governor for Georgia, who I was really hoping... Uh, oh, Stacey Abrams? Yeah, she got, she got walloped, unfortunately, but... Can't win them all. So did, well, one. so did Beta Beto, unfortunately. Uh, just the incumbent. Same in Texas. Yeah. Beto. Brian Kemp. Beto got uh, beat by Greg Abbott. Yes, what sir. What about the... There's this one guy that was, like, running. What's his name? Walker? Oh, that one's actually super close. Uh, Walker... Uh, what's the update on that? Yeah, Herschel Walker was another one we were watching closely. Herschel Walker is basically suffering from traumatic brain injury. He's barely uh, <laughs> legible. He can barely speak. He has very bad motor. He's skills. not exaggerating. He was, <laughs> he was a former NFL player, and he, he it's kind of yeah, sad. No, like I if he wasn't I heard about him. Yeah, if he wasn't advocating for horrible policies, I feel bad for right, what they're but he's putting like him up to. Really terrible. No, yeah, he, he no, and awful. also he's running like pro life. Like I'm not calling it pro life. Pro forced abortion. I hate when I call it pro life. Yeah, forced abortion. He's running on forced abortion or forced pregnancy. I mean, forced and he and then it came right. out that this guy's been getting abortions his whole goddamn life with women. Like he's just a giant hypocrite. He like beats his he's son. He's the one that his son talks. Yeah, he's about, like you're a piece yeah. of shit, and I hate you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so <coughs> who so is he running against? And is that you saying it's close still? Yeah, so he's uh, running. It's officially going to a runoff, uh, Ethan. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, but the good news is, is that uh, Warnock actually was in the lead by almost a full percent. Yep. Mm. What's the policy in Georgia? Is it a percent or two percent? I think it's. I don't remember. It's within one or two percent. Let me check. I think it's two. Triggers. Not five. Somebody in the chat will probably know in a second one. Catch the stream catches up. Yeah, War if Warnock lost, I feel like that would be like kind of a perfect uh, outcome for us. Or I mean, yeah, I mean, if he Wait, won, if, if he, he won, you mean? If Herschel Walker lost, if, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was reading something that. Oh, it's if if no candidate exceeds fifty percent. Got it. That's what it is. God, oh, he's close, man. He's so close. Thank you, Kevin, in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I read, I read something interesting. You know, Georgia, there's a lot of religious people, a lot of uh, evangelicals. Mm. This guy, Warnock, he's like a preacher. Okay. He's literally had his spent his whole life in dedication to being a good Christian, this guy. 88% of them voted for Herschel Walker. Because mm. he's like born again, but it's like he's just, he's just bullshit, bro. Yeah. It's like, fuck them, bro. Evangelicals. <sighs> Fuck them. That's all I can say about that. He's not just a preacher, by the way. He's the preacher at the church that Martin Luther King was a preacher at. So he's got credentials. Yeah, absolutely. Like within that community, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. a very prestigious church. But if he's up here, it stands to reason he's got a good chance in the runoff. And uh, I think so. And that that's encouraging, too. So it was a great turnout, and I'm just super proud of you guys, of... Your generation, all the people out there, dude, if you guys keep turning out in the polls, these motherfuckers don't have a chance. You know what I mean? So it's true. Also in LA there was um some interesting initiatives that passed like a, a tax on like 
uh, the millionaire tax, they call it, where houses over five million get like a fat property tax on sales to go rip to you guys. <laughs> I voted yes. I did vote. Well, yes good for on you. That. Um, You're a class trader, but good for you. Yeah. You're the good kind of class trader. <laughs> I voted yes on all the tax increase stuff. There was a lot of them in LA. I voted yes on all of them. Um, Most importantly, we're the firing the fucking gang leader sheriff that we have here in LA, which is fucking oh. sick. That is Piece great. Of shit. I also saw there was an initiative in LA where they're like, we can impeach a sheriff now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that wasn't possible. Because of the same guy. That's awesome. Villanueva is a fucking also the one piece thing of shit. that your brother was telling us about how there's like finally, or was it you then that there's finally like a, a, a CPA at the controller? Oh yeah, <laughs> right. The first I, CPA to ever be the city controller. I was like, Which what? Is like, <laughs> <laughs> the controller is the person in charge of the finances. So I was mm, like, yeah. how's that possible? But he's a young guy. He's progressive. He seems very cool. Uh, Says uh, he's gonna audit the police. And he's gonna audit Get LAPD. On boy, we love that about you. Fuck the popo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there's all these real uh, interesting initiatives. It's kind of incredible to me the stuff that people don't vote on. Like, there was another rich people tax on L.A. that got walloped, which was, um... Oh, it was, like, uh, an additional state or city tax on income over, like, $2 million a year. Okay. That was going to be used to... I forget what it was going to be used for, but it got like overwhelmingly shot down. I was like, who's voting for this? Yeah. Like, how many people in LA are making over $2 million? I voted yes for it. I think, you know, I don't, I don't feel it's right for me to vote against t increasing taxes on me. It's like kind of fucked up. So I say yes on it. But it got shot down. What about um, Caruso? Oh, what's the update with Rick Caruso? It's version? too close to call. It's very so, close. Uh, I, last I saw, he was slightly in the lead. Really? Mm -hmm. See, that's 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 a huge disappointment. That's a in scary my, one. Yeah. Let's take a look there. Rick Caruso, of course, is like a MAGA dude who just is pretending to be a Democrat. Yeah. And he's running on basically like uh, he's basically r building a giant ditch with lava in the bottom, and he's just planning on putting the homeless in that ditch. That mm -hmm. is his plan. I don't understand how much money is being spent on the election. hundred million. He spent a, Rick Caruso spent a hundred million of we've, his own fucking money. We've been getting so many spam mail and mm -hmm. letters and stuff. It's like every week there's like this pile just because of the election. Dude, we've been making a lot of money probably on YouTube though. Because that shit, every time I open YouTube, it's an ad <laughs> for the election. I'm like, okay, let's go. I'm getting paid out here. Yo, he's dominating. He's up by like oh, significant. No. Wait. Only forty three percent of the vote in though. And a lot of people do mail in voting in LA. I did. We yeah. did mail in. Exactly, me too. Okay, that's interesting then. That is interesting. Long way to go. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it, we're not sure. Oh boy. Boy, boy, boy. Yeah, so so but the good news is, yeah, I think that tax that they passed on Five million, it's like five million dollar houses. There's like a two percent tax, mm -hmm. and over 10, there's like a four percent tax. And they project it's gonna raise like a billion dollars a year wow. for the city. And it's all going to housing homeless people and to affordable housing, which is kind of let's go fucking awesome. And I'm so down for making our city greater and uh, more healthy and beautiful. So I'm voting yes on that. Money. And that one did pass by actually a large margin. Money. So that's good. That's funny. All of the yeah. uh, good measures for dealing with homelessness uh, are passing, and yet Rick Caruso, whose plan is just murder them all, uh, <laughs> is in the lead. It's a well, weird I, I, disconnect there. Yeah. I think people are just so desperate to but maybe change it's just something. The marketing that he's doing too. Yeah, I mean, he spent I think the most money of hundred million. Ma yeah, like absurd he's amounts a of money. Yeah. And his endorsements, like Katy Perry endorsed them. It's like, okay, oh, Kim Kardashian. That. That. Kim every, Kardashian. Single, every single celebrity you can think of. Yep. Like, they all endorsed him. Wait, there. Oh, Elon Musk endorsed him. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. Yeah. No, there's a lot of uh, people who endorsed uh, Karen Bass, but all the like billionaire. I don't know. Everyone. I haven't seen any of them. Everyone. It was everyone. Give uh, it to you. I see that Newsom. Newsom dominated. He okay. fucking crushed, which I'm happy about. I like Newsom. He destroyed that bitch. I, don't, I think it was a guy, so I'm okay with saying that. 
Yeah, but um, I guess it was a little bit closer than I thought. But yeah, that's a huge blowout. Six fifty-seven percent. Yeah, that's a lot of people. Fifteen point. Fifteen points. Yeah, that that's, yeah, that's a that's lot. Domination. Yeah. So um, so it's good. But yeah, I think everyone's just so desperate to try to make a dent in this homeless problem that they're passing the ballot, the measures, and they're voting for the guy who says he's going to do a change. Karen Bass is her campaign is like, I'm going to do the same thing that they were doing before, which I think people are like, well, that's yeah. good. <laughs> Frankly, she's not a great candidate, but <laughs> she's better than Rick. So she got my vote, I guess. Well, maybe we can, yeah, I was thinking if we could turn them into glue or something to raise money for the city, <laughs> that'd be a dub. <laughs> Put suicide pods around the city and just collect their goo uh -huh. and burn them down. Can't control my goo. My goo! Maybe we could have some kind uh -huh. of initiative where it's like, if you... We're gonna hook you up, mm -hmm. you can smoke all the crack you want, and take all the heroin and fentanyl or whatever, and then, at the end, you got, just gotta kill yourself. <laughs> it's kind of a what vibe, a right? <laughs> what a deal. You get like one week of just vibe out. Live it all, and then you got to get in the suicide pod and say bye bye. I am not suicide. And we're going to turn you into goo. There that is. You see this big news? Sl oh, yeah, this is huge. Oh, uh, breaking <laughs> slavery has officially been banned <laughs> in Tennessee. What year is this? <laughs> it is 2022. 2022. That's, of course, uh, it referring to the 14th or 5th, which is it? Well, this is actually, so Tennessee and I believe four other states had uh, language similar to what you're talking about in the uh, U.S. Constitution about slavery being legal as punishment for a crime. Uh, a bunch of states also had that same kind of thing in them, and I believe five states had measures to <coughs> remove um, slavery <laughs> from their constitutions, well, yeah. uh, including Oregon. Uh, California is next door neighbor here. Well, they, Wait, they, what? the Constitution still says slavery is legal for prisoners. Yeah, slavery still exists in the United States. Which it's is called how, the prison system. Which is how in prison they literally force you to work and they pay you like two cents an hour or something. Thirteenth huh. Amendment, thank you. Yeah, it says it says slavery is abolished except for in the case of like prisoners or some shit like that. So yeah, slavery is actually still legal really? in America and it has been. Yes, yeah, pretty incredible. Like kind of a problem. I just love this graphic so much. <laughs> like a little bit of You problem. decide. <laughs> yeah, you decide. <laughs> Slavery ban tonight, Fox 13. <laughs> That's awesome. Yo, what kind of sap ass loser is Katy Perry? Like, fuck you. Like, what? Yeah. Two days ago, here I'm voting for Rick Caruso, and I'm proud of it. What does it take for all these celebrities? Like, he just invited them to some fancy party mm. and schmooze around. They've got to be rubbing shoulders, and for then sure. And they're like, cool, I'll vote for you and endorse you. A hundred percent. Katie's got some bops, but uh, I can listen to the Glee version. So, <laughs> it's fine, I oh, guess. She voted for Measure 28. That one passed overwhelmingly. It's just funding more arts and stuff in schools. Okay, whatever. Bye. Loser, idiot. Show me what you voted on on the stuff about raising taxes on yourself. That's the one I want to see. <laughs> Something tells me she voted no on that one. She didn't show that one, did she? It's uh, probably a safe bet. Yeah. There it is. So, good stuff, man. It, uh, here's what it says in the 13th Amendment. It says, Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime, whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. If you've been convicted of a crime, then your ass is a slave. Yep. That is so insane. Yes, it is. <laughs> Good timing on that tag. It sure is. Also, isn't it kind of like a loophole of how they still manage to continue to do it after slavery was done? Abolished. Abolished. Um, well, it's not a loophole. It's right there in the Constitution. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's right there. That is the amendment that abolished yeah. slavery. Yeah. It's part of <laughs> yeah, they wrote that shit in when they <laughs> yeah. abolished slavery. So. I mean, it's an improvement. Don't get me wrong. It's a step up it's from, a very from good yes step slavery. Up. Yeah. They're like, at least you have to be convicted of a crime. No guarantee it's a safe like, trial. Let's go. 
um, let's just go get everybody. They're all. Yeah, well, they did that actually. They're all that criminal. After, uh, yeah. after they freed the slaves, a lot of people just started rounding them up as criminals and then forced them back into slavery. It's pretty, very, very fucked up. Mm -hmm. Actually, there was a sheriff or someone who was like, they had to abolish slavery on the state constitution on the ballot. And he's like, listen, I'm against... Did you see that, Dan? Can you find... I was the one that sent it to you. It was my friend. He sent me a picture of the Oregon voters yeah. guy. Pull it up. I want to pull it up. Okay. One They're second. like, I just want to say for the record, we are against slavery. That but, being said... That being said. <laughs> yeah. If you actually pass this, it could really fuck up our prisons. We need slaves, bro. Our business depends on it. Oh, my God. Basically, that's what they said. Yeah. I know. It's shocking that... Uh, that a sheriff would be uh, pro-slavery. This, yeah, awesome. this is the screenshot <laughs> that my uh, my friend sent me. It, it, they start and end this, this argument in opposition with, Oregon sheriffs do not condone or support slavery or involuntary servitude of any form. With that being said, <laughs> Oregon sheriffs cannot support Measure 112 oh as drafted. It creates unintended consequences for Oregon jails that will result in the elimination of all reformative programs and increased costs to local jail operators. Are you talking about the one that says... It's banning slavery? <laughs> yeah. It sounds like you support slavery. And then I, at the end, I love they have to reiterate because they know yeah. how bad this <laughs> sounds. <laughs> it sounds to me like you're just cool with slavery, bro. That's so messed up. He's like, look, I'm not against slavery, but it does benefit <laughs> us greatly at the moment. <laughs> I mean, you think you, you, Shawshank Redemption, probably everyone's seen that movie. It's an American mm -hmm. classic. Uh -huh. yeah. You've seen how it works. The, the prison warden there, he's getting massive kickbacks, pocketing tons of cash because he's able to sell the prisoners out as like cheap labor. And he's the one that takes the money. <laughs> Fucking crazy, dude. There it is. But overall, great, great, uh, great, great outcome here on. Uh, on the midterms. I saw Ben Shapiro tweeted out from red wave to red wedding. Pretty funny actually for Benny boy. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. It was good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Um let's move on. And Joe Rogan said something about the red wave. Yeah, he's too. yeah, he said there's going to be a red wave so big, it's going to be like that scene from The Shining when the elevator opens and the blood and comes blood. out. Wishful thinking there, Joe. But don't worry, you got Greg Abbott to, to represent you. <laughs> You're good. Mm-hmm. And Ted Cruz, boy. Oh, we got the best representation in the whole world. My representative's Ted Cruz. When the power goes out in the state, he flies to Cancun. Yep. That's only oh, that smart. I wouldn't want to be in this freezing-ass state, neither. <laughs> but I ain't got the money. From Red Wave to, and then the top comment is, how did Dr. Lose? I don't understand. Probably because he drinks his own piss, Ty. <laughs> you consider that? Literally, he did a segment about drinking his own piss. <laughs> did you see that segment, Ty? <laughs> Love it. Oh, so good. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be really fun. If you guys want more details, we're going to get into details about all the complaining mm -hmm. that's going on, and the salt and the tears. If you want to lick their tears, then join <laughs> us tomorrow morning. Definitely will be. I love that. How did Dr. Oz lose? The TV doctor quack who spent his <laughs> his uh, career selling fucking unsubstantiated supplements. Who literally doesn't even live in Pennsylvania. How did he lose? <laughs> Lives in fucking New Jersey. Alright, let's move on to ratio destroying, uh, ratio. <laughs> Elon <laughs> Musk destroying Twitter and getting ratioed hard is so good. Real oh, quick, speaking, speaking of Dr. Oz, the, the person that brought him a career, Oprah, Endorse John Fetterman. That's awesome. Like that. That's just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, better he, can get than that. I f yeah, Oprah probably like Obi Wan wishes she could take that back. <laughs> you know, like he did not. He strayed from the light, yeah, light yeah. side. Big Doctor Oz is her Anakin. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> for sure. So let's talk about uh, Elon Musk getting ratioed and embarrassed on Twitter. It's very mm -hmm. satisfying for me. Elon Musk is a piece of shit. Uh, shirt is live till Sunday on teddyfresh.com. I can't show it to you the website down. Yeah, I was just gonna say. Hey, hey, hey. But uh, so hmm. look at this, huh? 
Elon Musk in 2017. Let's see what he said. <laughs> yeah, so what, you oh, this is me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta... Yeah, I was... gonna address this. that time. Dude, I was a huge fan of Elon back mm-hmm. in the day. Before, he was like a it's public really figure, time. and basically he had... I was so admiring we, what we he had also, done with electric vehicles. Yeah, we were just sold on the Tesla dream. It was like, here's this car, it's got the autopilot. Um, <laughs> they're already ready for the full auto yeah. drive, but it's just not legal yet. But they already have the system in I place, know, you that. can pay for it. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. And all this stuff, and we totally bought all that. I feel like that's how everyone felt at the time. I feel like everyone <laughs> mm-hmm. that doesn't like him now liked him back then. Well, majority of people. I don't know about Dan. But, mm. yeah. I, I totally didn't think that he was just like, like today I realized he's just a salesperson. Yeah. Yeah. And back then he looked like he wasn't. Not only he that, he's just, just an annoying a, asshole too. Yeah, but back then, kind of misleading. And my whole life, I had this dream of electric vehicles. It's just amazing. And you looking at the world, and you have this problem of of uh, fossil fuels being finite and polluting the world. And you're wondering when is it going to happen? When are we going to have cars that run on electricity? Mm-hmm. And this guy f- went. He honestly he made what looked to me like a miracle at the time. And these electric cars were starting to pop up everywhere, and it was just. Um, it was just amazing. I was just so, I was so grateful and happy about it. And, you know, we got, we're early adopters of Tesla. In fact, Ela still has one. But that's going back in January. We're getting the new, uh, we are going to have well, two electric vehicles and no Teslas. That's awesome. Yeah, we're going to have the Porsche and the BMW. You are going with the BMW. Flex. What's that? You're going with the BMW. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm a Beamer boy myself, so. Love, I'm a little disappointed <laughs> about the BMW after watching yeah. the videos online. Oh, it I hasn't said, been I, good it's reviews. not the greatest design. Uh, that's I'm bummer. down with it. I said, you can take my Porsche. I don't care. I'll drive And I do love the Porsche, so I think we're going to swap. Yeah, it's fine. The <laughs> coolest shit about that BMW is the grill is like, it, it's scratch proof. So if you put hot water on there, it gets any scratch or dings off. I'll put that to the test. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's get an ice pick or a. What's the model pick. so I can pull up a picture of it? What's it called? Um, is it uh, X? Uh, is it I X? Those are five. Yeah, something there. like that. <laughs> I X five. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I think it's cool. I don't really care if I'm driving an electric vehicle. I'm happy. So, is it the is it an SUV? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this one. It's an yeah. I X five. Yep, that's it. Yeah, well, we were all excited, and then Love was like, actually, I saw a video where it says it sucks, and he sent it to Gila, <laughs> and she's like, I'm canceling it. And I was like, just yeah, take my car, just take my car, because we've been waiting a year for this thing on the yeah. waiting list. And take my car, dude. The car itself is very, very good. It's like BMW, <laughs> but there's like a couple of quirks that just annoys me. Yeah. And I, I don't care. Point that out I don't care about that it. stuff. Listen, <laughs> all right. I'm a designer, mm-hmm. and True. there's like really bad design. Did you features in there? I will say, yeah, from a design standpoint, I'm no designer, but uh, compared to other cars that are the same price, I feel like they're lacking a little bit sometimes. Did huh. you look at the Audi e-tron SUV? We tried driving it a while ago, and it was kind of like an ancient beast inside. It wasn't that like. And it's not fully electric, is it? And I don't think it was no, fully electric. At hybrid. least I don't know if it's still the same one. That's, <laughs> we tried it like a year ago, I think. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. The point is, is that, yeah, I was a huge Elon Musk fan, and I was just a big fan of everything he was doing. This is before he was, like, a front-facing person. He was actually, at the time, kind of elusive. And he was, like, this shy, right. sweet, almost, like, humble dude. Like A little he, awkward. Yeah, he was, like, talking. Whenever he, was, he talks publicly. He, he, it was a thing where it's like, oh, he's so shy to be in the public face. Mm-hmm. He's not comfortable talking publicly. And it was, like, almost this endearing thing. Of, yeah. He was like this. And so, obviously, so much has changed in five years, but here, let's watch this. I'm and it was before hard. he found out about memes. <laughs> and that was the real beginning Nine of that ruined the decline. Ass, bro. <laughs> that was the killer. Uh, yeah. The title of the post is Ethan Majorly Sucking Elon's Dick. <laughs> well, that's true. That's true, actually. I don't even dispute that. No, I remember this. Well, and I, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I think you even literally... Well, let's just watch Did I it. offer <laughs> did I offer that? <laughs> you were close to it. <laughs> <laughs> the offer's rescinded. 
Elon Musk. Elon Musk. I love this guy, man. Why is the audio so bad? Is that what our podcast sound like? <laughs> no, I think the clip is just... Oh. <laughs> uh, it might have, actually. I mean, this was early, early days. We, it was probably before we bought the console and we were just running off a cheap little uh, Behringer <laughs> before mixer. Before Zach. It would have been before Zach. Elon yeah. Musk. <laughs> I would probably, if he was like, yo, Doug, here's my dick. I need you to I knew where this it. was going before you said it. I wasn't, you thought I was going to say suck. He wants me to shine it and manicure it. He's like, I need you to manscape my genitals. And I'd be like, cool. Rescinded. I don't require payment. <laughs> I love the guy. All I require is a horse in exchange. <laughs> Some people hate him. I don't know why. He's like the real life Tony Stark. Right. At the time, the only people that hated him were like contrarians who were like, I don't know. There was some. It seems like everybody loved him, and it there was this weird like, contrarian thing about him. It seemed like they were just trying to push electric vehicles away because it was gonna like mess with their business. Mm -hmm. there, I'm it sure really there was is. an element of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, come on, the yeah. guy's incredible. Yeah. He's 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 pioneered commercial space travel. Opens the doors for so many things. The guy has made driving electric vehicles cool All to right. the point where he made a profit, and now he's so embarrassing, so, embarrassing. so cringe, dude. So so far, those two things that you cited, those those are true, though. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like okay, thanks. It's not it's not the worst. Yeah, I don't think it's embarrassing at all. You can't change your opinion. You know what I mean? No, I. Yeah, it's just in, in context just the now. Dick sucking. Yeah, the, just <laughs> the admiration for a guy that I find gross now. It did not age. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what He's SpaceX is doing is, is, yeah, I mean, it's objectively impressive. You know, I, obviously, if somebody clips it and be like, "What a hypocrite!" That's just so fucking stupid. Yeah, it's like idiotic. They always are. Yeah, Ethan's a hypocrite in this f in this 160p. With fucked up audio, cl yeah. ancient clip, <laughs> he's saying Elon's awesome. Also, we've been given so much data in the past few years that tell us that that argument is like no longer even relevant. Mm -hmm. Everyone used to love Kevin Spacey, you know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's a great point. You are, uh, I, know it's, uh, I know it's controversial, but you are in fact allowed to change your opinion about things when presented with new information. I know it's kind of insane, but yeah. Oh. It's actually, in some cultures and, and at certain times, it was even thought to be admirable to be willing to change your mind on things, but... It's not your fault. I love changing my mind. <laughs> oh, I change know. my mind I, too much. I know. <laughs> yeah, what's for dinner? I don't know. Change my mind. Speaking of changing your mind, <laughs> you'll like what I just sent. Uh, Ho for DeVito. I just joined and wanted to let you know that I got a notification with the Tate title and ignored it. I got a second <laughs> notification when the title changed to Dandy and the Hot Chip and immediately joined. Wait, she got a, they got a second notification? Oh. Well, we changed the title, bro? <laughs> Dan, you better hope that's let's not true. Let's keep changing it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> let's just keep changing it. Yo, let's change it I again. that's true. Wait, you think it's true, love? No, I, I, I don't. Yeah, I think no it's shock. fake. Yo, they're uh, fake. I think they're capping. Yeah, because why would they get another notification? They're just making awesome. a joke, I think. We would blow everyone I, up so hard. Yeah, we would. Uh, it's a joke. You guys are funny. Okay, let's we'll keep watching. Them consumable. The Model 3. Mark my Do words. Do we need to watch this whole thing? No. no turn it no. off. Yeah. Yeah, no. We get the no. idea. No. <laughs> Twitter's hate. a rat hole. Why? Not because of you. I hate watching my stuff, so. Yeah, so that's that, okay. But here's a here's a album. So, okay, people go, people like Ninja and Philly D, who, I don't, did you watch Philly D talk about me? No, did you I see didn't. what that Judas had to say about me? No, he offered oh me a God. book that said, uh, "Here's don't be stupid, stupid. He's like, what's the deal? Everyone expected to get banned, and now you're complaining oh about it. Oh, my God. Eula, none of that <laughs> happened. Comedy me. was alive and well. Just, just so you know, none of that happened. Yeah. What? That's the, that was what he said. <laughs> it's not. He didn't get me. He didn't get me a book that said he didn't. Wait, what? Why yeah. are you lying? Because yeah. I explained all this to you the other day. Wait, Dan, you really have to go through Dan, it again. Dan, what you're lying. is happening? Oh Dan's fucking lying. Why are you running defense right now for Phil? You're Philly. Apologize. You apologize. I, I sent it. it. I, I sent it right now on Discord. Hey, apologize. No, I'm not. Dan is that. right here. I I'm was on your side. Who screen, is right? Well, love. I edited that fucking social media clip tomorrow because I wanted to slam Philly. Then I noticed he's obviously saying that you did it on purpose, so mm -hmm. you're not one of the dumb ones. Oh, you exactly. think? Exactly. No? no, that's 100% what yeah. he said. 
And I was on your side fully yesterday. Okay, hold on. Let's watch it. Let's watch oh it because maybe, maybe, maybe I was wrong about Philly. We made a mistake. I did. I've been going pretty hard on Philly. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> you, you're mistake. going hard without. <laughs> it's just in checking. Jazz. It's just in jest. <laughs> well, well, well. Hold on, because can we have any friends left over? In this? <laughs> it's just a joke. In it's the play, world, it's playful ribbing. I thought it was free speech. <laughs> Ninja, on the other hand, is dead to me. He's dead to me. <laughs> but let's see what Philly said. Bastards, welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show. Buckle up, make sure you hit that like button, and let's just jump into the news. Starting with Ethan Klein got <laughs> nuked off the internet. Oh, Again. yeah, he goes, Ethan Klein nuked from orbit. <laughs> <laughs> but this time on Twitter, and it's because of Elon Musk. Just a little over a week ago after Elon Musk took over the platform, he declared that he lost comedy so much is weight. now- Yeah, he looks great. Mm -hmm. Philly looks great. Skinny legend. He's inspiring. We love yeah. Philly for that. W with that being said, he definitely called you fat, though. Oh my yeah, he said I'm oh on orbit. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you should go on a hike with him. <laughs> yeah, listen to go on a hike Okay, let him. me just watch this thing. Legal on Twitter, but he has seemingly unveiled that he is not an absolutist about that. Right? That there sometimes have to be limitations to that rule, specifically impersonations. And a key thing with this story is people impersonating Elon Musk. Right? Since his takeover, it's been a big trend for verified people to change their name and photo to Elon Musk's and tweet something absurd <laughs> or out of character. But here's the thing, and you may not expect it, it makes complete sense why these people were suspended. Impersonation no. has always been against Twitter's rules, so it wasn't surprising to see this happen to the accounts. And I have to imagine a number of the people that were banned Band, including Ethan, were expecting this. I mean, even Ethan's own fans were like, he's going for the band. So for anyone that... Okay, okay. Sure, yeah. okay. As you expected. Yeah. Okay, 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 let's see what happens from Good. Here. Did this and didn't expect to get banned. I got a, a beautiful book for you to buy oh. the week of Thanksgiving. Okay, the book was not for me. The book's not for <laughs> you. <laughs> the book's not for me. Thank you. Rewind. But, in a book? But, but... <laughs> <laughs> and he titled his next video, I'm sorry. Oh... Well, you I mean, need you'd to, to title that your next video. I'm sorry. In bio and in the name. Okay, all right. Maybe, maybe I <laughs> misinterpreted that, Philly. Here, let me text him. I gotta end a TikTok to send him an apology. <laughs> Wait, it's the TikTok still up? Yeah, yeah. it's still Whoa. up. Whoa. Hey guys, we'll see you on uh. Friday. We'll see you guys on uh. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thursday. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Yo, I'm gonna text Philly. <laughs> For those of you guys who found the vlog to be offensive, I'm sorry you did. For Billy, I'm sorry. I misunderstood you what you said. The book wasn't for me. <laughs> Thank it might you. Might be now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for not giving me that book, bro. <laughs> sorry. Me that book, bro. I'm very sorry. Very sorry. Don't forget about the new comment, though. Say what? The, the new orbit? comment. Yeah. Ask him. What why, are you, why are you instigating? We yeah, love. What did he say? Love. What did you say, love? Nothing. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> say it. He nuked you from orbit. You yeah. can say, P.S., what do you mean That being that? said, I don't appreciate being called fat. Yeah. No, no, just <laughs> ask. That being said, what did you mean by orbit? I don't. <laughs> I don't appreciate you saying I have my own orbit. Sorry. I don't appreciate <laughs> you saying maybe just, I have maybe again. my own orbit. He knows I'm kidding. Me. He knows I'm kidding. Hey, that one's a joke. <laughs> so I said, Philly. I'm afraid I can't do that. I said, Philly, I'm sorry I misunderstood what you said. The book wasn't for me. Thank you for not giving me that book, bro. I'm very sorry for the misunderstanding. <laughs> that being said, I don't appreciate you saying I have my own orbit. <laughs> just being honest. Kind of sounds like a compliment. You got your own orbit. <laughs> That's you're, a compliment. You're, you run the world. The next mystery that you live in mm -hmm. is if he was talking about you in his apology video. Yeah, you keep. You really want me to watch that video? <laughs> I really want you to watch it because I'm curious. I'm more curious about this one. He does. He's not. I've seen <laughs> it. He just says I'm sorry about something. I don't know why you're so gung ho about. Say <laughs> you're video. in the thumbnail, or is that different? Uh, that's oh, that's me. different. Okay. Yeah. Sup, you beautiful bastards. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show. Hope you have a fantastic Tuesday. Seconds. And yes, it is. What? 21 seconds. True. Bro, I would have been at 21 seconds already. I am wearing the same hoodie for three days in a row. Weather here right now is cold and wet and... Yeah, I don't want to watch this ad. So good skip call. to 21 good seconds. Call. Good call, bro. Good call. Stories to get through oh today, so God, buckle Ethan. up. Hit that like button and let's just jump into it. Starting with... I'm sorry. Also, that might be confusing. I'm not sorry. What your mother and I did was a beautiful thing that I do not regret. Rather, true Jordy is sorry. Putting out a th 
Mm. He's just a little <laughs> cheeky. I, I don't know. You know, I'm fine with all that. No problem. Okay. You really think that he thought I would interpret that, like, for me? I don't know. I just felt like you needed all the context before you yeah. said you forgive him. But okay, think... let me text him back about the apology. <laughs> no. <a> fake apology. <laughs> no. <laughs> We love Philly. Where the fuck were we, dude? We've been t- we, we barely... were at Elon Moore. Yeah. Ma. Elon, Elon Ma. Ma. Dude, I'm so hungry, Elon. Yeah. I don't. But you're, I stopped, you're not gonna like see. it. Yeah, I don't think I'll like it, but I'll take a bite. Give it to you. I feel famished. I ate yesterday like not a lot of calories, and then exercise. It's kind of gnarly, Elon. Uh. You... Uh. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just a little bit gnarly. Healthy. Yeah, gnarly. I like it. It's Haters actually kind of hate. It's good. Okay. <laughs> I'm into it. <laughs> Just needed a couple bites. <laughs> so, yeah, what I wanted to say is that people like Ninja, I'm not even going to say Philly D anymore, he's off the hook, and a bunch of um, conservatives are like, you have to put, and Dan said, you have to put, Parody. Dan was just trying to tell you the rules. Dan was like, you got banned because you didn't put parody in your name, dude. Mm-hmm. You didn't get to put parody in your name, bro. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, here's... I said it just like that, too. <laughs> so look at this. Elon Musk, parody. Uh-huh. Banned. Right. But we don't Obviously, he tried to make it, like, to the back. Uh-huh. But, like, still, shut the fuck up, okay? <laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> Comedy's now uh, legal on Twitter. My wife left me. <laughs> that one says real. But that's, like, it's so obvious. <laughs> Are you this fucking is, that but fragile? To, to anyone bitch. that's saying, oh, you guys are stupid, just play by the rules. It's like, yeah, we get it, but it's stupid. Like, this is exactly why. You want to start seeing, like, Elon Musk real. And then, like, somebody telling a joke and then writing joke in parentheses. Yeah. And, like, it, it's, I was t- saying to you guys, it's becoming, like, YouTube titles where you guys say, like, emotional, Whoa, not emotional. clickbait. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, no, this is just stupid. Yeah. This is people reacting to dumb shit. Yeah. Well, also, Elon really only cares about this since people started goofing on him. Like, yeah. This is literally in response to him being fragile. It's so pathetic. Yeah, 100% it is. My wife left me, Elon Musk, in parentheses, real. I'm sorry, that's funny. It is clearly not Elon Musk. And Elon Musk would never use this photo. <laughs> I know, right. <laughs> so, like, lame fucking loser. But also, band. Mr. Elon Musk, the meme edgelord. Yeah, exactly. If you're so edgy and so funny, why can't you take a joke? Yes. You can't. Like, what the fuck? Moving on, it gets, it gets even worse, okay? This one got banned. Look at the name. <laughs> it's like typed with letters and numbers. <laughs> and not verified. Banned. Yeah. This is just because pathetic. impersonators are dangerous. In the words of Ninja, it's not funny! Also, people, uh, like, I saw how it was, like, written in an article, like, He's suspending impersonators or whatever. And it's like, no, these are regular people that are just making a joke. It's yeah. not like you're trying to go to the DMV I'm with a fake shit. Elon Musk ID. Right. I don't know. It's like, right. this is different. Right. I'm not trying to sell like Elon Musk water. The right. joke is that people know who you are. And at first glance, it looks like Elon Musk, but it's not. Like, do we really need to explain the joke? It's, I had 2.3 million followers. It's just so dumb. Whatever happened to the handle? My handle was at H3H Reproductions. How can I impersonate you if my handle is not Elon Musk? But this one, the name is not even... How is this getting banned? This is pathetic. <laughs> okay. Um, Elon Musk is now suspending parody accounts. Look at the... Here's this one. Completely compliant. It has parody in the fucking title yeah, and a rainbow in the front. Banned! So how do you explain this one? I agree. They're not. Yeah. They're they're muddying the waters big time. Yeah. <laughs> they're so pathetic. And so I agree pathetic. that it, it is happening because he's fragile. Yeah. I was never defending him on it. I was just saying that they're obviously 
cracking down on people making fun of Elon on the app. And that the way that you had Love done me. it was going to get you banned. I knew that. It's yeah. going to be sad. I knew that. But... Um, I was going to do it myself, too, by the way. When I Ethan know. was doing it, a lot of people were tweeting me, like, is, take his phone, he's at it again, which is always the joke when you go wild. Mm. But this right. time, I was totally on board. I thought it was funny. <laughs> and Ethan, Ethan said, I know I might get banned. It's fine with me. I was happy with that because Ethan off of Twitter, better for me. Yeah. Win, um, win. <laughs> That's what I'm saying too, Hila. <laughs> I mean, in a, in a <laughs> but way. I was gonna do it myself too. I was busy putting Theodore to sleep, and I kind of like missed the moment. But I wanted to tweet something about abortions. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be funny. Yeah, I know. I was I was in the lab. I had a good one for you. It was like um, it was gonna be something like, I am uh, pro. I'm pro choice because because if abortion was banned, I'd have 15 kids instead yeah, of instead nine. Of nine. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of funny. Yeah. Pretty good. It's a wild thing for him to tweet. A little wild. This one, uh, yeah, this one's completely compliant. And again, this is the guy who says comedy is now legal on Twitter. And he is the most punitive. Like, if you people thought about Twitter as like this How hostile. could he actually say that and then do this? Like, I'm sorry to everyone that's supporting him. Usually, isn't it like people are like all about logic? Like he's it's Conservatives. He's, they're all loving it. I guess because now he's bridged to that world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but I think he lost a lot of like the actual... He's losing them more and more. They're chipping away. Yeah. But this this last one doesn't show parody, but it just demonstrates that <clears throat> even something so playful as this can get you banned. Yeah, this one got banned. Sorry, Elon, to tell you what is actually funny because obviously you're posting like cringe memes. Do you think they're funny? This is funny. It's, it's yeah, not it is funny. funny. It is very funny. And so... I think you should ban anybody posting cringy memes like yourself. Ban 9-gag memes? I, I thought comedy was alive and well! <laughs> Ninja's dead to me. Uh, Dumbass. Goodbye. Yeah. Nice Instead shot. of, hello. You know what? <laughs> goodbye, Ninja. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. You know what about Ninja? <laughs> Honestly, I can't have someone that bad at Fortnite on the show. <laughs> like, the way he was missing those shots, he needs to step up his game before he come on the show. Yeah. Like, too far. Come on. <laughs> what, hey, Ian? Squeeze. Too far, bro. <laughs> too far. You saw him miss those shots with no excuse. Uh, Ian, goodbye. 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 Maybe you need to read the book. <laughs> I will. I will. I will. Yeah. But it, it, the ultimate irony is that everyone think of Twitter as this, like, super controlling way too like ban heavy and shit and then he, the minute he comes in he becomes way more punitive than they ever were accounts are getting expanded and blocked and shit and um it's fucking pathetic yeah so there it is fuck you uh you're a loser moving on the second check mark we talked about that tweet a meme of a nazi soldier he did that let's check out this elon musk one Elon Musk posted a video of a Nazi followed by a post telling people to vote Republican. What? How times have changed. I didn't really, frankly, even get this. Maybe you guys can explain it to me. Are they like carrier pigeons? It's because they're birds, like the Twitter bird, and that's the unread messages uh, counter on the corner. What's the joke? I There's mean, a bit the joke. of Hitler in everyone. People used to send messages via bird. It's a, yeah. What's the joke? <laughs> What's it's the just, joke? it's a boomer meme. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, I don't think he realized that that was a um, Nazi soldier that he was using <laughs> for his jokes. <laughs> a little awkward. Where did he get this? That's oh the question. Where is he getting Nazi soldiers? Yeah. Nine yeah, gag. Because he gets those memes fed to him, you yeah. know? The person who the made this is... meme typed Nazi soldier. Yeah. I feel like um, people often call like the richest person uh, the the most powerful man in the world, but the most powerful man in the world is whoever is in that meme group chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. 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 yeah. The one behind the curtain. Elon the puppet doesn't master. Know, Elon doesn't. I, I don't think he's like too dumb to understand what that even means or could mean. Right. What, whoever is in that group chat, though, probably mm. knows. It's the bored ape guys. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's something like that. Hey, you like that? I hate it all. I told you, I changed my mind. Cool. And then, uh, 30 minutes later, 
we looked at this, but yeah, he said, I recommend everybody vote Republican <clears throat> because shared power curbs the worst excesses of both parties. He goes, ah. it says a week after taking Twitter private and becoming. <laughs> yeah, seriously, what? <laughs> I vote for getting rid of the government. Also, that's getting not how it works. <laughs> what is he talking about? Well, I mean, you know. The sentiment, I guess, kind of makes sense what he's saying. Although in the context of American politics, it's obviously a, a joke. But it does, yeah. It's like a joke. But he also just doesn't believe in that. I mean, he runs his company as an authoritarian. He doesn't share power. So, well, this is my favorite thing that happened to Elon on Twitter um, this week. This French streamer, who I don't know who is, but I love now, <laughs> Arcunier, ratioed Elon. <laughs> So fucking hard, he erased his tweet in shame. He said, what do you call someone who is a master at baiting? And I'm sorry, Elon, that is so embarrassing. You are so Bruh. embarrassing for that. That should be something to get banned for. Yeah. That's first day of sixth grade joke. Yeah, yeah. Do you think he's got like a group of people camp. sitting around him? Like he's, is, is no, he I has think a group this chat. one is, this funny? is an, I think this one is a Musk original. Oh, so he's like, oh, I should tweet that. I think he thought that was so smart. Imagine liking that tweet, though. It's even worse than posting it. <laughs> yeah, and so this guy, he says, I don't know, but call this ratio. And he actually successfully ratioed Elon Musk. And then what's fascinating is Elon Musk erased the fucking tweet in shame, <laughs> which is so embarrassing just on its face, right? Mm -hmm. Here it is. So you can see, deleted by author. And then he came back. Shame. And ratioed him again. Look at Shame. this. Oh my god, dude. He got this. Twitter is the worst, but also the best, he says. And the same guy says, Where are you going? Take this ratio again and don't delete it this time. Oh. <laughs> and a ratio is as hard. Oh dude. my god. Look how many likes. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy, man. So that was good. That was good. So there you go. Shout out to the French streamer. What's his name again? Monsieur. Who is it? Yeah, I don't know. He's Monsieur to me. Oh, Monsieur to me. Uh, the quartering had a meltdown about us. <laughs> Love. Yeah, he's upset. Oh, Tell me more. Wait, should we watch the... We prepared something. Should we do that first or after? Um... I was originally thinking <coughs> after, but playing it first... I don't know. Cam, you made it. What do you think? Uh, I would vouch for after, I think. Okay, after. Yeah. That, that was my original thought. This one was called... Uh, it actually didn't have me in the title, but I used this photo. He has the craziest thumbnails ever. We always talk yeah. about it. Uh, Ethan Klein busted lying about Twitter ban. Uh -oh. What is this? Yeah, by like Elon Musk team. Wait, what? What did he do here? It's like a tear? Yeah, that's really and then, weird. And that's supposed to be Elon Musk. Being collected? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's collecting, collecting my tears. tears. <laughs> yeah. That's so wild. Wait, what does he mean? Ethan Klein busted lying about Twitter ban by Elon Musk team. As H3 podcast host Spirals. <laughs> <laughs> what? <I'm laughs> Are you watching the same show? <laughs> you busted. And then here... Uh, Ethan Klein permanently banned by Elon Musk, exclamation mark. The H3 podcast host goes full meltdown on Twitter. That's like the same exact title, practically. <laughs> I bet you those get him a lot of views, though. I bet you. <laughs> These were back-to-back, -back, three days in a row. <laughs> Here, you want let's watch it. Actually, having said that, Elon Musk has been in... Um, 49 thumbnails in the past <laughs> oh 30 God. days. Look at this. this. His thumbnails are nuts, dude. Yeah. I nuts. Think that's his real talent. I don't know if it's, it's him. It's not him. Yeah, it's definitely oh, not well, him. Yeah. He doesn't have okay. this kind of no talent. No <laughs> talent there. Uh, we got to get a hold of his thumbnail guy. Yeah, if you're watching <laughs> and you make the thumbnails for the quartering channel, hit us up. Yeah. I'll double your pay. You're, true, you're <laughs> a true talent. <laughs> Whatever he's paying, I'll double it. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people. Could be more. doing better things. Thumbnail guy. You got a real talent. You could be making a difference in this world. 
Here's a timestamp of one of the videos uh, that he's very upset at me about. That these people, like, he immediately ran to uh, the H3 podcast Twitter account to angrily tweet Not him. me. I did not tweet that, bro. Dumb. I'm not even logged into that Twitter account. About it. These people not are that addicted it makes any to difference. Twitter. Dude, Jeremy. Okay, I'm losing my mind. Let me go back a little bit. <laughs> Jeremy, before I watch this... He is notorious for saying Twitter is bad and I'm quitting it. He's done that like five <laughs> times and he comes back the next day every time. Yep. He's <laughs> such a pathetic Twitter freak and you're so projecting, bro. Well, he'll also and have he people um, that he claims is not him run his account. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, but he always gets too drunk and then forgets that he said that and just starts tweeting at himself at some point, <laughs> like at like one in the morning the next day. By the way, yeah, he got a ton of views on this, 600,000, because he posts like five videos a day. It's yeah. so pathetic, man. It's Maybe so sad. Maybe I'm going to pee in my trash can. It's here. so easy. Know. If you're conservative, all, you literally just put me in the title now and some sh like make up some alternate reality about how I'm crying or upset or melting down. And it gets so many views. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. What is he selling coffee for also? <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Coffee enema? That's the only thing your coffee's fit for use. I mean, he just, he probably makes decent money doing it, selling it. I mean, that's part of the conservative grift, right? They all mm. white label I some get, product. Yeah, I guess it's not yeah. as bad as selling like a slop bucket. <laughs> yeah. One of his pinned comments says, uh, Ethan, try my coffee. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. In one of his videos that I was watching, I had, unfortunately had to watch a lot of them, uh, he was offering you a brand ambassadorship for his shitty mm. coffee okay. brand. Okay, interesting. I don't know if he can afford me. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I mean. We're exclusive well, to Fiddlehead. <laughs> right, exactly. We represent Fiddlehead. Dude, I'm shitting myself. <laughs> 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 Fucking idiot. And at least suspended for it. 2.3 million followers. Dumb. And, and also, let me say this. I, and you could tell that these people, like, he immediately ran to uh, the H3 podcast Twitter account to angrily tweet about it. Bro, it wasn't really that's really not at all what happened. Yeah. The tweet was a joke. Yeah, he did he doesn't show the tweet, of course. Right. Because he's like he makes it sound like I went over there and I was like, ah, oh, this is unfair, Elon Musk. I'm gonna <laughs> it's not it happened at all. <laughs> and it wasn't even me, by the way. These people are addicted to Twitter. These people terminally. <laughs> and this is let's see how many times you know what? Let me go see how much Jeremy has tweeted today. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go see how many times he's tweeted. Tell By the way, the most people that I see who are like manically obsessed with Twitter is like, let's see, Jordan Peterson. Yes. Like sick fucking amounts of posting. The mm. quartering. Donald Trump. Right. Ben Shapiro. Elon Musk. Yep. Who, who, what, what do we have in common here? One, two. Lunatics. These people. A lot of his videos, too, um, when reporting on controversies and stuff, were just him <laughs> reacting to your replies on Twitter, too. So he's probably <laughs> super pissed that his main source <laughs> uh, of reports are gone You just now. lost a lot of content. Uh, yeah. I just cost your ass a shed, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I get a countdown? Dude, oh, my God. God. Hey, remember how Quartering had a... His original channel was trying to get kids to send them send him mail so he could email them or, or mail them candy and toys that he won in an arcade. Wait, what are you talking about? Yeah, I know. I know. Just yeah, uh, his, in the drain. His first hobby was um, he was making a channel about going to arcades and playing all the games there. He's a claw okay. uh, machine fanatic. Um, and he was like, guys watching, send me your address and I'll hook you guys up. He was not joking. That was dead serious. Um, I'm just curious. Still counting, by the way. You're counting how many times he's quit Twitter? No, how many times he's tweeted in the last 24 hours. Oh, wow. But this does piss me off. Look at the amount of views. One day ago, 60,000 views. Okay, one day ago, 80,000. And here's the one about me, 600,000. <laughs> it's fucking annoying. The circle jerk. Here's the other one, 250,000. Yeah, he's sad. He's gonna be at a loss without my Twitter account, man. Every time I tweet, he basically make a video of it, no matter what I say. The biggest cope we've seen since the 2016 election. He has tweeted time. 69 times I mean, in the last 24 hours. What? 69 times? Yep. Are you serious? That is fucking. 
dude, projection doesn't begin to describe what's happening here. No, I, I just went through and hand oh counted. God. Just tweeted. How does he do anything else other than times. just tweeting? That makes me that know. about Elon, too. Yeah. Certainly not spending time with his wife. <laughs> Have you wife. ever tweeted close to 70 times in dude, a day? Dude, I've been tweeting. Mm. I was been tweeting leading up to my band like once a week. At most. <laughs> 70 <laughs> times a day will rot my brain. Dude. Being on Twitter that much? Seven These people are obsessed with Twitter. That's what he said. He's critically <laughs> obsessed and he's just so pissed and coping. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you only tweet 100 times per day? Is there really a limit? Yeah, I think that Wait, it, at least it used to be. That's why people would go to like Twitter jail or something. What? Like you oh, couldn't tweet. Because they were spamming. Oh it God, it maybe got oh, picked up as spam that. at that point. Dude, he tweets so much yeah. he's almost considered spam. Right. By the, by the platform. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he uh, he paid for verification today as well. Oh, oh what a <laughs> Jeremy! Idiot. Of course we he did. We love you, Jeremy. What a fucking <laughs> idiot! <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> you are into such great company as A, B, and Zach. <laughs> oh, well, Steve Rossi's gonna call you anytime now. Come manage you. Yeah. Wait, Zach, you paid too? Oh fuck yeah! Dude. <laughs> it's so funny. Loser. But the quartering actually, no offense, I know you you guys are personalities, but the quartering's been around for a long time, and he has a, a channel with 1.3 million subs. It's awesome that he's not verified. Yeah. <laughs> it's 100 tweets per hour. Oh okay. okay. Well yeah, it was. Yeah, that's that, pretty that's critical. Kind of a that's lot. pretty critical. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was talking about this before he became a hey conservative uh, hack. He was lit. He looks like he's in prison. I mean, that's what's crazy about it. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm in jail for uh, for uh, child molestation. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it does look like a mugshot. Yeah, he looks like he's in prison. <laughs> but watch this, Ela. I can't get this. Is my favorite. It's claustro. I can't get over I'm this. I'm Jeremy, and you've come to that part of YouTube where you might be wondering Six how years the heck ago. you got here. Together with my beautiful wife and our best friend Brandon. We're about as obsessed with the arcade as anyone, specifically claw machines. So obsessed, in fact, that we've already bought four different machines and have them in our house. No way! Oh. He's talking to children, the way he's like, wow! Yeah. <laughs> you're in the part of my basement where you're wondering, how did you get here? <laughs> kind of a red flag. That's what I'm saying! For somebody to have claw machines in the house. Yes! <laughs> like... Who uh, looks like that? Yeah, four of them, that's... Four whole claw machines. He's got to fill it up with his own prizes. Yeah, he has to. He has to buy the prizes. He got to prize the prizes for himself to uh, win. I don't know something about it that just kind of like gives me the the eeky vibe. That's what I'm saying, and um, you know, this is the guy that conservatives look to for political commentary. <laughs> That's crazy. My wife and my <laughs> wife's boyfriend, Brandon. Wait, let me go back. Let me go back. Yeah, let me go back. Is so funny. <laughs> Here. Together with my beautiful wife and our best friend Brandon. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. With my wife and my wife's boyfriend Brandon. Totally. Let's, let's go, Brandon, dude. Watch. What? Now let me predict the next quartering video. He's gonna make a video titled "Ethan Klein Goes After My Wife." Yeah. Guaranteed. That's what he always yeah. does. Anytime I joke like this, so yeah. fucking calling it right now. He's gonna make a video about this and be and then act all outraged like he went after my wife and he always complains when people attack Ela and now he's attacking my wife and just do this whole fucking thing. He'll probably get like three hundred thousand views for that, so that's good. What about his obsession? No hate to his wife though. By what? The way. Just to be clear, nothing, no issue with his wife whatsoever. I've never said no. a single bad thing <laughs> thing about his wife ever. She looks pretty nice. Yeah, she looks nice. She's pretty. And her boyfriend seems like a nice guy too. Hates <laughs> <laughs> anyone, specifically claw machines. So obsessed, in fact, that we've already bought four different machines and have them in our houses. No They're way! Home. No. Yeah, hey no, kid, no. you want to come in my van? Yeah. I've got claw machines at my house. <laughs> yeah. I've got four of them. There's candy inside. You want to play? We record our journeys as we travel across the country trying to win as many prizes as humanly possible. We'll also show you how these machines oh work, God. what to look for, and how in my to basement. win. And when we're not clawing, we're going to show you how to win massive tickets at a top. My claw machines are in my breeze shed. You guys want to come play there? <laughs>
ton of different arcade games so you can get that super sweet loot that you want. Super sweet. Need another reason to subscribe? We also do giveaways. We'll ship the prizes anywhere in the world. If you see us winning on this channel, we'll I can't giveaway. believe how he's Go talking. Ahead. Yeah. Just give me your address. <laughs> kind of sounds like Tim and Tim and Eric. We'll ship the prizes anywhere in the world. <laughs> this shot is giving me straight up filmed in prison. He's even got like the jumpsuit on. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> like it is straight <laughs> from prison. <laughs> like I can't believe like, how prison this is giving me. Oh, uh, you said that it like really clicked in my brain. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's wearing an orange jumpsuit. Yeah, yeah, oh man, up. and the green screen made it so easy for edits. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even have to, dude. Yeah. <laughs> It looks like he's about to pick up the, the telephone off the wall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> part of the Clawstruck crew and get notified each and every time we upload a new super fun video by crushing that subscribe button today. Uh. <laughs> you know what's giving me? You know how Adolf Hitler, he first wanted to be a painter and then when that didn't work out, he just said, I'm going to kill all the Jews. So, Quartering has kind of a similar story arc. He's like, I just want to make mm. claw videos. And when that didn't work out, he said, I'm gonna kill all the Jews. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but he became a conservative shitbag where he just is like a total reactionary freak. All right, Jeremy, time to get back to your cell. <laughs> Jeremy, back in the cell, buddy. There's no. Stop talking about claw machines, bro. There's no claw machines in prison. I'm shitting my pants. <laughs> <laughs> what a <the> fucking idiot. <laughs> He's such a loser, dude. <laughs> Yo, I bet that woman was his cousin or some shit. There's no way he's married. Yo, no way. Is this real? What? Wait, you did Somebody, Philip DeFranco, somebody named Philip DeFranco, I don't know if it's the real account or not, just donated $10 and said Dan is greater than. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait. Well, you can confirm if it's real or not. It has, just a, it has it. a check mark on it. Yeah, I don't see that. Philly. It's Philly. It yeah. is Philly. Well, can I see? It's a legend. <laughs> You're a legend, Phil. <laughs> it's, it's not showing Philly. on my screen for some reason. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. You can click his account and see if it goes it's, to his channel, can't you? Let's see here. Go Phil, ahead. are you going to come into my chat and fucking be <laughs> hyping yes, up it's, Dan? Shout really out, Phil. You the man, Phil. Come on, bro. Yeah, why does it not? I'm in the back end and it doesn't show the check mark. It's bizarre. This is what it looks like for me. I choose to believe that was a fake Philly, 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 <laughs> Philly. Philly, what do you think about uh, quartering, uh, soliciting uh, addresses from kids from prison? <laughs> Don't put him in that position. Uh, he's going to sit on the fence on that one. <laughs> Don't rope him into the well, quartering you know, shit. <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, I'm not sure. What do, how do you guys feel about soliciting addresses from kids from prison? <laughs> Tell me what you think in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, let's keep watching. Uh, hey, Phil. Uh, if feels that, like I can't uh, even leave a comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, he knew he was going he to he get a rise out of me for that no, one. No, Billy yeah. the Franco. Yours, we're, I'm going to maintain friendships here on YouTube, Ethan. We're friends. It's just a playful banter. We text. We're good. Trust me. Okay. We're dogs. Trust me. Do you go I on hikes together? This was the year of squashing beef. Dude, it's all gone to shit. Making friends. I'm a pissed at ninja. <laughs> oh, speaking of texting, by the way, uh, I got reached out to uh, by um, by Amaranth. I guess she went to go message you, and then saw and you guys normally talked on Twitter. Yeah. Oh, I got mad. Right. <laughs> Fuck. I wonder who else I'm gonna lose contact. <laughs> That's with. true. Yeah. So uh, better start talking my Instagram DMs. Yeah. That's funny because. I got that message too, and I thought it was fake at first <laughs> because of all the fake blue checks. From oh, you got it from <laughs> uh, on Twitter. Oh, okay, got it. right, right, right. Wow! So the verification process is going really good for Elon. <laughs> you're getting to, you're getting messages from real people, and you think it's fake. <laughs> Sounds great. Sounds like it's working out. It, what what Ethan's gonna try to convince people of is that he meant to do it, that he was proving a point. Oh that, my God! Oh my could God. it be more obvious? Could it be more obvious from the beginning that that was what I was doing? Uh-oh. Hey, idiot. That Elon doesn't allow comedy. Wrong. <laughs> because when Ethan Klein was doing these tweets last night, he didn't even bother to read the terms of service. And mm. I'm going to explain it all to you. Uh-oh. Nice <laughs> and clearly. 
He then got banned on Twitter after mocking Elon Musk over v verification fiasco. Again, Deserto, incorrect. Yeah, the quartering is now a Twitter terms of service. I love it so much how they're yeah. all fucking wanking off to terms of service right so now. Stupid. Even though that's what everybody says now, it's like the one topic that they can repeat. Well, and it's just hypocritical as fuck because for years we've been hearing the bitching about like these unfair bans, the people getting banned who clearly violated terms of service, and now all of a sudden it's just like, well, you gotta follow the rules. You, yeah. you didn't put parody in the title. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you forgot to put parody in the title. I mean, that is that has been the disc <laughs> like the the way it flipped like overnight is Donald insane. Trump, Donald Trump's like, I want you all to go to I want you all to go to the house and kill everybody there. <laughs> <laughs> Trump was unfairly bad. <laughs> Ethan didn't put parody in the title. Right. <laughs> Such a what fucking rules? idiot. Uh, Sons of bitches. Twitter's a rat hole. <laughs> <laughs> 600,000 views. There you have it. Yeah. Uh, cheers. Go play the fucking claw machine, you little bitch ass <laughs> metal fuck. Well, you're being pretty harsh. Yeah. And I feel like you should reserve judgment until you see this Ooh. video that we put together. Okay. okay, you know what? First of all, pedo's a joke. Let's not throw around the P. Well, it's a well. He looks like one. That's... Looks like one. Stop. It's different. Than... <laughs> what? He wait. I can't say that. I mean, okay. You can say whatever you well, if want. If Dan gets but... a, if Dan gets uneasy, I just pull back now. I don't like throwing it around. It's he looks pretty like heavy. One? He looks like he's okay, in jail, it, and he's asking kids for the Listen, head. listen, listen. When you're saying it in the it all adds up. Do the math. <laughs> when you're when you're saying it in the context. Of, of the he, video. He, really he's talking world. about children's yeah, games while looking like he's wearing a prison jumpsuit in what appears to be a mug shot. Yeah. Then the joke yeah. makes sense. But if you're just like, ah, oh, this guy looks like a pedo, that, yeah. that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Let's that's, that's just spend a fucking like 20 minutes. I get it. I get it. Like like if I speak, I am in, in a big mug trouble. shot. He's wearing a jumpsuit. <laughs> in big trouble. And I don't want to be in big trouble. <laughs> All right, thank you. So anyway, before I um, before I pass judgment, let's roll uh, this video and see if I'll change my mind. Thank you. What do we got? Is it for me? <laughs> do I need to play it? Yeah, I think it's just in the dock, right? <laughs> I thought you guys queued it up. Here it is. All right. I am for obviously you know freedom freedom of speech and nice. when push comes to shove you know i would back line in this and it was a it was a it was an amazing uh three hour and 33 minute podcast you know not a bad viewership 499,000 views that's pretty good uh but uh humble break <laughs> my video announcing his band beat his video so far i'm sure his will surpass mine in time of course Aww. he usually gets like 700 to a million. He's got three times my subscribers. Turns out I turned, I tuned into a stream last night. He had like 40,000 people watching him. That's incredible. Um, I saw he had a lot of hundred dollar super chats. He made a lot of money. He had a lot of new members. Ethan Klein is still an important voice in the YouTube space. Ethan Klein can have the quartering is a low IQ inbred loser as a title in his video. I think that Ethan Klein could still do a lot of good in this. Uh, that's a good title. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's a fucking good title, Jeremy. You have to admit, that is a fire title. That cut though from. Yeah, you said you're an important voice right before it. You know. Oh my so, god. So, so, by the way, by the way, I love this side of him. He's, he's, he's a little IQ you, inbred yeah. loser. He's he giving you a little ad space too. Did you notice that? Yeah, no, it's super nice. Yeah. Like PettyFresh.com. You can get the Elon Musk with a piece of shit shirt. Yeah, super nice of him to do that. I like when he got all bashful after he was like, I beat him, but he's probably going to beat He's going to beat that thing and I beat me. No, this all came up. Well, let's finish the video. Place in the YouTube space, <laughs> Ethan Klein can have the quartering is a low IQ inbred loser as a title in his video. I think that Ethan Klein could still do a lot of good in this world. I look up to the guy and I'm not even one of those people like, oh, Aww. I miss the old H3, you know, per se. People change, people grow, people are allowed to, you know, do that. Oh, again, that's so sweet. That's so <laughs> understanding. Lost is Ryan Kavanaugh. Again, has nothing to do with this. I support you against him. Thank you, brother. I don't like when people uh, make fun of his uh, wife. That's not okay. If I ever did it in the past, that's not okay. And I apologize for that. Um, sometimes like you, you, know, you get caught up in the memes and that's not okay. Right. I, I do. And I want to, I say this, you know, to be clear. 
I wish the best for him. And if this is the road that he wants to take, I wish him all the best. Thanks, bro. Damn, uh -huh. that was actually special. Yeah, so we we were going through all of his recent videos uh, that have you in the title or whatever. And Olivia started noticing, we, she found like three moments where he was suddenly being like kind of a sweetheart. Yes. And <laughs> Olivia was sweet. touched. She was, she was like genuinely touched. <laughs> and then we, came, we were like, Cam, you gotta, we gotta get all of these moments and compile it into like a, an Ethan yeah. tribute video. Damn, yeah. that was really nice. That was really there nice. would just yeah. be like beacons in his video of like beautiful, yeah. positive <laughs> moments where I was like, who? I like this guy. <laughs> Olivia, yeah. Olivia was like, "Oh my god, he's got mocha coffee. I want to buy." <laughs> no, he was talking. He was talking about the coffee he has. After I watched him, obviously, compliment you so many times, wow. he was like, "My favorite this this fall is blueberry cobbler. Our blueberry cobbler coffee <laughs> rocks, and also our apple pie one." <laughs> and I just loved it. Hold the phone. No. Blueberry cobbler coffee. That's what I'm. I, I'm Let's curious it. about it. That's all I'm saying. Let's try. It's Olivia came in today and she's like, you know what? Captain Marvel kind of fucking sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking <laughs> hate Brie Larson. Right. Because I watched that last night. <laughs> she just binged all the quartering yeah. videos last night and got red pilled. You know what? That, that was really touching. And I, I actually, you know what? You don't look like a pedo. Thank you for saying Thanks. Yeah, so. I, I think, agree. I think we can safely say he's a low, in, low IQ inbred sweetheart. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that, that one is more sec acceptable. Low IQ inbred weirdo. The sweetheart. Uh, sweetheart. 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 Inbred I don't know. Loser. I don't know where the yeah, line I don't is. I don't know about that either. Low IQ. Inbred. People are asking if low this is IQ real. Low IQ is fine, right? Uh, inbred, I mean, uh, fine. Yeah, loser. 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 probably fine, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, people asking if this was real. I mean, it was it was chopped up a little bit, obviously, and some and <laughs> Cam added the Teddy Fresh to the sidebar. That wasn't real, but yeah. uh, but the sentiment of what he was saying that was all yeah. real. I there think, were genuine compliments mm, in uh, videos. That's interesting. Yeah, I, I got a little creative with it. Like when he said um, people can change their mind, he immediately goes after that. But Ethan's going in a poisonous direction. He sucks. Uh. Blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> right, 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 right. I think I think he has a tendency to want to look like a uh, like partial or enlightened. So he go mm -hmm. he'll spend like. Nine minutes talking about what a fucking whore I am, and then be like, "But you know, he 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 he's done a lot of good things for the platform." And, and then what Cam cuts out is like, "But he's a fucking all, but he's like, <laughs> nah, yeah, just, exactly. Right. Now he's a net negative, and I hate him." Poor. <laughs> That's great though. Not powerful, beautiful. Hmm. Go fuck yourself, Jeremy. For <laughs> <laughs> real. Yeah. <laughs> actually, Jeremy's actually pissed about the election, though. Oh. Apparently, what happened in Wisconsin he's so angry about? Uh, I believe the governor's race uh, is a, what he was upset a damn about. damn one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He reposted a post to Facebook? Yeah. <laughs> a vibe. You dumb fucks really cast your ballot for Evers. You guys, the guy that made your loved ones die alone at hospitals that made you attend drive through graduations and funerals to destroy local business. I mean, I'm fine. Thriving even. I love that. I'm fine. I'm thriving. But you fucking idiots who voted for this guy deserve all the strife coming your way. How the fuck can you forget what he did to you? All the lies. Holy shit, Wisconsin is dumb as fuck. And then he, he actually screen capped that and then tweeted it. It was interesting. See, it's interesting. He's always saying that you're melting down. That's a meltdown. <laughs> like that, you could totally. qualify as a meltdown. Like he's melting down about something. He literally he's said, clearly I'm very thriving. Upset. I'm fine. I'm thriving. Yeah. Okay. I then mean. he he supplement. It's cool. I'm coping for sure, but I'm 100 fine. Okay. Good. We we're worried about you. <laughs> oh, so. Oh my God, I didn't understand. So that's his post. Yeah, that's his post. Oh, I thought it's just Hambly like a comment that he liked from Facebook. No, he's Jeremy nah. Hambly. Oh my but God, so he's saying all that? that? Yep. What a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's unwell. He's unwell. Yeah. But we wish him the best. Yeah. But you get that sweetheart. crotch rot. He's a sweetheart. He is kind of a sweetheart with a stinky ass crotch, but that's okay. I'm sure, he can be. <laughs> you have to shower more than, you know, every other day. I mean, once a week is gen not enough for a guy of your kind of build and hairiness. Dude, I'm shitting myself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, can I ask a question just to get clar clarity? You're saying I can't Don't. say somebody. No, I'm 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 just genuinely interested um, in this conversation. Not on not online live. I think if you if can you, you look, can see someone looks like a pedo. No, I don't think so. I, really? I, I, th I think that's, that's way too far. Yeah, it's a 
Yeah, because that's just purely a, you're saying because of the way that you look, you are this terrible thing. That's that's not cool. Again, that's why I said when you have the nuance of like, here's a guy making claw machine videos for kids, looking like he's in a prison jumpsuit in a mug shot. Mm -hmm. Then there's like a comedic through line there that isn't just purely about his appearance. You know what I mean? But when you just throw it out. And I know that was the context that you meant it in, but that could easily be clipped out without mm -hmm. that context and just be like, hey, look, he's just making wild accusations about pedophilia right now. Yeah. And yeah. I, I just, uh, okay. No, I, I hear what you're saying. It just, I don't know. Okay. Can we do a poll? Mm. Uh, the audience is very much not with you on this Let's one. do a just, poll. I'm just curious. Just you're I'm, aware. I'm curious. Okay. Is it, is it, just say, is it over the line to say somebody looks like a pedo? Yes or no? Curious. Um, Should we just write, is it over the line, yes or no, instead of... Oh, sure, yeah. Too the late. joke that we're talking about, <laughs> P-word, yeah. you say P-word. Uh, Thank you, Bella uh, Simmons, for late. 50 gifted. This is actually good for me. This this is good for me to know, you know what I mean? Thank you, Bella Simmons, for the 50 gifted. That's so cool. Everyone so, gets so stoked when 50 gifted mm -hmm. come in. I thought it was free speech! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought, it, I thought it was free speech! <laughs> I, I thought comedy was alive and well! <laughs> Did you? Okay, so here we go. I'm learning something. I, I'm growing as a human being. Here we are. It's over the line. Knowledge. Nice. You cannot say somebody looks like a pedo. It's over the line. It's inappropriate. Yeah. Not cool. I, I shouldn't say it. I'm going to say something I don't. I, I probably shouldn't. Say it. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Because I'm. But it's. I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. I get it. It's too far. It's too much. There it is. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. Yeah. Uh, here, whoa, this next one is so wild. So, so wild. Well, it's kind of hard to watch, but... Oh, wait, you skipped... You skip, wait, I did? You skipped one last special little thing that we did for this uh, quartering Oh, thing. yeah, I'm so sorry, I forgot. Yeah, so we were so captivated by the quartering's thumbnails. <laughs> As you guys know, we're huge fans. I mean, they're <laughs> one of the craziest... Genuinely. So all you guys back here, a lot of you guys took your own crack. At making quartering style <laughs> thumbnail, and so here, let's take. Do we know who made the, each one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who made this one? Uh, I did. I love it. So it's really good. <laughs> Thank Dan you. Ate the hot chip. <laughs> I think it's really good. I think it could work good for a highlight, love. Yeah. That was kind of the idea. Is we all of these are, um, you know, made for the topics from today's episode. Uh, so they, they're all relevant highlight clips potentially. I think it's great. I love it. I love Thank you. it. Going down. Ninja's total meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> this one's and then yeah, this one's pretty good, but I think this one's more manic and crazy. <laughs> but it's good. It's good. Uh his tooth is Brie Larson, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's A B's, by the way. <laughs> Wait, what? That's Captain Marvel. It's a little it's a little Easter egg. Oh, okay, okay. I see. That's I, see. I had to zoom in a lot. <laughs> Quartering loses his mind. His wife, Jeremy, did what? Plane ride gone wrong? What the fuck? This Can you guess wrong. who made that one? Zach? You got it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, nice, well, it's a good try, Zach. <laughs> it's a nice try. I love just the Walmart logo. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all his favorite things. Yeah. Drains, pizza, Walmart. <laughs> Drains. <laughs> and he loves watching his wife get caught. I was wanting to make one, but I forgot. I was, went downstairs and I started playing God of War, and I drain totally and Walmart. <laughs> I love it. He's shitting in Walmart drains. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And what's the pizza? Oh, the pizza the without pizza. me. All right. And what's then the next, what's the half circle next to the pizza? Well, that's a, a two plane windows. So he's watching his, his <laughs> pilot wife. Oh yeah, I forgot about that story. <laughs> Get, so he's getting cocked. <laughs> <laughs> That's them making out in the window. Yeah. Okay. 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 I like that. I like that. That's good. This one is looking very, very genuine. You even got the same teardrop. Oh, yeah. Elon pissed himself. Ratio. <laughs> this one's great. This one is like basically <laughs> the spot toilet on. Pissed off. <laughs> and the thing is, there's so many details you yeah. have to kind of look at. Is you got the diaper on the head. Uh -huh. <laughs> this one's right on, man. Right on. Oh, this one's good too. Man-child meltdown. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, this one is right on. And you even got, like, yeah. the SJW. <laughs> <laughs> and he's drooling. So that one's Cam's, and the previous one was Ian's. Yeah, so I had you, a so, feeling. Yeah. You guys all... Wait, did Sam do one? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh... Who did this one? Me. 
That's the, that's oh, yeah. the so, so you, yeah, that one was pretty good. They're I think all good. It, there's a direct correlation with Photoshop. Uh, yeah, who knows Photoshop? Sure. Dude, I was I was like <laughs> walking from Dan to Cam, annoying him because I haven't used Photoshop in so long. Asking uh, how I do stuff. Actually, I kind of want to test my skill because I've been wor- I've been working more in Photoshop <laughs> yeah. and getting better at it, which mm-hmm. is something I always wanted to do. <laughs> and so I really I'm gonna try to make one uh, and still bring it in. Yeah, it's really I wanna, fun. I want to test my. My skills here. Maybe Zach could help if you need. <laughs> yeah, Zach. I actually didn't use Photoshop. Not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Surprised. Because I think it, I it's kind it, of advanced though. to get it's the great. text warped like that. So. <laughs> Shout out templates. <laughs> Whatever works. Wow, these are great. Good job, you guys. <laughs> yeah. These are Cam's amazing. Is so spot on. Holy shit. Yeah, that really, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I could see that on his I channel. I mean, Ian's is... This yeah, is yeah that's it. Yeah, this yeah. one is... They're 100%. both like right fucking on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Mine, I, I exaggerated a little too much on the uh, sharpening and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Mine's a little bit more of a parody of a quartering film. Right. Yours is good. I Yours like is it. Good. Cause he does do that where he'll like fuck with the contrast heavily to make people look crazy, <laughs> yeah. but I just like I crank those knobs all the way to max. You deep fried it. Yeah. By the way, this picture of Dan screaming is my fave. <laughs> <laughs> so good, no? Okay, good job, guys. It's a whole uh, exploration of quartering. Yes, valuable, <laughs> good stuff. How long we've been going, by the way? Uh, two hours and forty minutes. And it's a short app. I actually have to leave so that I get there. In time. What do you want to do for dinner? Are you still hungry? Mm-hmm. What do you want to eat? Mexican? You want to do? You want to get barbecue? Eva sour on barbecue. She got a bad ranch and shit herself for like not yeah, shit herself. Shit. For like like three days. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the ranch. She thinks it was bad ranch. I'm pretty sure I will never I... touch a ranch in my life. Th- I've been saying I can never give it up. You know, it's funny the the place where you got that from. My it's opinion has pla- has the best ranch. Yeah, in my opinion, it's a good place. So yeah. I'll tell you, we ordered. But all there, it takes is one bad one. Right. We ordered there three nights in a row because it was so <laughs> Not good. Not in a row, but pretty <laughs> close. Was. Really? Yeah, it was back to back to back. It's been it's fantastic fucking and then, place. And then on the third time, <laughs> on the third time, I guess something we ate was really bad, and our stomachs got super. Fun. I'm sure it was the rain, the ranch. My my whole body, like I just know it. I just know I can't even look at it again. Yeah, I got you. I got you. That's a shame, though. Ranch, <laughs> when it's good, it hits like nothing else, man. <laughs> Telling you. Put that shit on the ribs from that place? <laughs> oh, man. Mm-hmm. There's some people saying, what the hell is ranch? Uh, probably from other countries, because uh, I think it really is an mm, American yeah. thing. It's what, do, like, what do you um, call ranch in, in Europe, like love? Thousand Islands? It, it's or? ranch. Kind of, yeah. But, but the thing is, it's only salads dressing. Mm-hmm. You don't like, use it on it's anything. It's only else. used for salt. No, it's insane to use it in any other context. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> like well, it kind of is here in a way too. Like, yeah. <laughs> people, no, people get people crazy. love. I I, I didn't pizza. used to hate ranch so much, but you know what? It's funny that you say that, Ela, because it was when I worked at the pizza place. Yeah, and people would ask for like four sides of ranch yep. and just fucking drench their pizza in I it, know, and it guy. really. I, I developed an aversion to it. Now I think ranch is disgusting yeah, after yeah. seeing that. I, I get that. I get that. A little traumatic. <laughs> yeah. Time for you it was there. so nasty. <laughs> All right. So let's, we have another main topic here with Andrew Tate and it's really fun. It's not like super serious. It's just fun. You guys are going to enjoy it. It actually doesn't even involve me. It, it involves Andrew Tate for this guy, True Jordy. And it's, it's I very, I think no! I'm going to dip out. Yeah. I'm going to go pee so that we can uh, keep going. So I'll be right back. And you're going to leave, so I'll be back in, a, mm-hmm. in just a minute. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Bye. Thanks for joining. Thanks for coming. A little bonus ELA for you all out there in the H3 podcast. How's, man. how's your tummy doing, Dan? Ooh, Tummy's fine. Chip. Tummy's fine. Tummy check. Yeah, Frank, like, I, I still I feel a warmth mm-hmm. kind of in my gut. But that's about all I'm feeling right now. I cannot believe you're suffering in, like so stoically. <laughs> I'm, I'm very impressed. Well, the suffering's over. The suffering's yeah. over. Um, yeah. I mean, I still would never, ever do that again. That was horrible. It's mostly about the fucking flavor. Flavor is horrible. Like the spice, yeah. the spice, spice sucks. You know, it hurts for a bit, but it, it fades. 
But that was one of the most disgusting tasting yeah. things I've ever put in my mouth. Huh. It was it horrible. Tasted like grounded up pills. Yeah, it was just, just industrial. That's why I said it like smelled like a Home Depot aisle. Mm. Yeah. For, for yeah. me, the worst part was my stomach afterwards. I felt like I got punched in the gut for like a few hours. Yeah. Later, you know? I have a pretty like, I, I my stomach's pretty solid. I don't I don't get clearly booed yeah, too often. It's impressive. It was weird for me. The worst part was um. The screen cap of me after that fucking uh, ruined my life. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Well, I, I I'm sure there's some of those for me now from when I was sitting there crying. Oh, the whole subreddit is you, but oh really? It's not. No, no, I haven't even looked. Yeah, oh, I was trying no. to find something good for socials. It's not that bad, honestly. Really? Yeah. Nothing. Not, oh no. boy, I'm afraid to look. What do we got here? But even Lena, you're, who you're went crying. like the same amount of time, nearly, um, she was suffering after. She wasn't okay like you are now. Yeah, I hope I'm not speaking too soon. Well, <laughs> I really do. They hit Lena pretty quick. She was okay. on the floor in the back. Yeah, because I might, I might get fucked up a little bit later. I don't, I don't know. I see there was this post, list of excuses Dan can use to avoid the hot chip challenge. Do you people think so little of me? <laughs> all of my excuses were legit. I only put it off because the day that you all did it, I, I was sick. I was legitimately sick. And then all the other days it was like we had like we have guests here. It was like, Ethan wants me to have it while we have like an astrophysicist in the building. <laughs> right. It's like, I'm not eating it today. Um, I mean, in all honesty, though, you could have eaten it on Monday and been fine to pick up Allie and everything, too. Now I know that. Yeah. I just wasn't sure how, I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know how badly it was going to affect me, but. Somebody in chat said, primal. Primal, gave the, gave the thank you. Prim point up emoji. Primal. I wanted to see if we could get liver king to try the uh hot chip but <laughs> of course he wouldn't do it i ain't putting that shit in my body i mean he'd be right to say that thank you derek runts for 20 bucks derek shout out to the crew shout out to you derek derek is oh, like a very space loyal space. supporter of feel... mine love and lena's and oh. Cam's, i'm sure stream. okay i was gonna say i thought yeah. i recognized that name also morgan says good morning from korea good morning morgan guten morgen morgan uh dan you cannot keep this pod on the rails Oh, thank you for keeping this pot on the rails. I cannot spend another week without the H3 fam and crew. Um, you're welcome. I guess we'll see what happens. I think we're fine. You know what I mean? I thought it was free speech! And, and I will say, I will give Jeremy some serious credit here. He is way less of a whiny baby than a lot of people like Keemstar, who oh, yeah, definitely, definitely go and like report. Like I, I don't anticipate Jeremy doing that. He'll probably just make. No. I mean, he'd probably thankful we talked about him. We give him. We just gave him juice for two more weeks. I'm looking forward to the thumbnail. Yeah, that he exactly. Makes. And exactly. I'm looking forward to those rare, sweet, sweet sentences. Yeah, those little nice. Two, two, you're giving him two more weeks, Dan. That, that's like four months worth. Of <laughs> yeah, it might yeah. be. It might be. And Multiple he, videos a day he, too. He's defended Elo before when Rice Gum was talking shit. He's not yeah. the worst. He's, he's big, not the worst. He, so he genuinely yeah. isn't. Like he's. Okay, that's why I always say he's a buffoon more than he's like evil. He's just yeah. a low IQ inbred loser. <laughs> Yeah. Which isn't the worst thing we've said about what, people. What do you call him? An oaf. Or an oaf, yes. Oaf. You're right. It, not not a buffoon, an oaf. An oaf Doesn't, is endearing, I feel I, like. I, that's why I said he was an oaf, because there is there is some yeah. element of... There's something there with There's the something oafs. there, yeah. yeah. The one video he made about Yila was had a really funny title that was not ironic. It was like, Defending Queen Yila from... Right, right. It was super wild. Yep. And it was not ironic. There it is. Mm-hmm. All right, let's move on to this Andrew Tate thing, and then... It's uh, Rice Gum Attacks Goddess Ela Klein. Goddess. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing. I think he really... he There's a definitely an element of hurt, hurt fan. So I think he genuinely was a huge fan at one point. And a lot of these guys were fans to an extent, but can I think we he... Build, was, can we rebuild bridges with quartering? Not after today. I think Fuck the him, dude. Fuck him. That wasn't even close to the worst shit I've said about him. Yeah, I mean. Oh my true. god, a little came out. <laughs> uh, let's 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 uh, let's move on to the Tate part. But here's the thumbnail. It's actually crazy. His th thumbnail is pretty tame. Yeah, what happened? He's changed. When the thumbnails changed, he changed. He fell off. Rice gum attacks a goddess, Ela Klein. That's how we know that he doesn't make his thumbnails, because he made that thumbnail. Right. This one's dog shit, dude. <laughs> anyway, 
So Andrew Tate recently announced just like two weeks ago that he's converting to Islam. Okay, and good for him. Obviously, man. faith is a beautiful thing. I don't, actually, I'm. What am I saying? I'm just trying to be. I don't. I'm not a big fan of faith, but if that's what it is, then go for it. Let me just be straight. I mean, I think it could be good if people are like, don't. It's like anything, you know. Use responsibly, right? <clears throat> Andrew Tate converts to Islam. Prayer video goes viral. Oh, we ha we have a okay. So he's getting all into it. Andrew Tate tweeted out. Or no, he rumbled out, or truthed out. Looks like a truth social, yeah. Should I get on truth? <laughs> this is why I'm Muslim. Any Christian who believes in good and understands the true battle against evil must convert. Oh no, is he already going yeah. on? He's already like going fatwa on Christians. He's already come in. He's already proclaimed jihad. This is uh, a big L on our part. I got to say. It's it's very my aunt sent it to me first. And oh really? Yeah, she's religious and she goes, This is so fucking embarrassing. <laughs> Wait, so what do all the other all the other people you know who are fans of him and who are Islamic? Oh, they're probably gonna love it. You think I'll so? fill you in after I go home for break. Uh oh. Yeah. I love this. Any Christian who is good must convert. So be patient. Indeed, the promise of Allah is truth. This guy's already quoting the Quran. It's like, chill, bro. You've been in the religion for two weeks. <laughs> Let it simmer a little bit, man. I feel like it's like an ad. If this was about anything else, I would have assumed he was paid to do it. Seems so disingenuous. Join Islam today. Yeah. Like, who, <laughs> who, who's paying him to do this? He says he's okay, but he's obviously in a lot of pain if you're turning to religion now. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. like, let's be honest. If you're a non-religious person, usually it's something traumatic or a lot of pain you're experiencing that causes you to turn from being a, a secular person to religion in general. Yeah, no, my aunt that scared the shit out of me and my cousins who's super religious, she got religious after she got a divorce. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So I think it's interesting because, you know, the alpha male who says he's got it, he's like, great. This belies that in a sense. I think he's, so, I think Andrew is suffering. And now he's ready to make the world suffer if they don't convert. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I gotta say, this is super religious, by the way, to record this. Do you think he tagged Allah in the post, or? <laughs> he did tag Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> it is true. May Allah guide and accept Andrew Tate. The Haram Police. Is that serious? Fuck. It's posted by the Haram Police. The Haram Police have been trying to get me for years. <laughs> Wait, well, who are they? No, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. But I, every, everyone who's Muslim, I feel like is the Haram Police. Got it. There's more. He's playing with tigers. Is that part of Islam? No, nah, it's part of more being a Saudi oil. Saudi oil, yeah. yeah. The other one is more chill. There's a lot of debate I'm seeing. I'm seeing it on TikTok actually, where Muslims are like I've seen Shaq's on on um, Shaq is like a priest for Islam, where they're on TikTok talking about how people shouldn't be so dismissive. Muslims shouldn't be trying to push him away or discourage him. That as a Muslim, you should be accepting of anyone trying to join the religion, but. Personally, I kind of feel like Listen, that. that's true, but if you're two weeks in and you're declaring war on Christians, let's like chill, bro. You know what I mean? You're taking it too far, dude. Relax. You need to be in the religion at least a year before you start committing a, a, a jihads. Is that right or no? Uh, I'm just <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he would argue that he's he's not saying. <laughs> He, he would say that uh, it's nothing against Christians, but he, he's trying to argue that they're too passive. And if you really want a religion that actually that actually is strict, then Islam's the way to go. Right. Jesus Christ is too forgiving. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. this weird, like we were talking about with Hassan a little bit, how a lot of Muslims in my hometown, like Jordan Peterson, it's like this weird crossover between conservatives and Muslims. Uh, strange, strange times. So uh, the story continues. Um... True, True Jordy is a YouTuber and Twitch streamer. I've heard his name a lot. What kind of content does he make? So I'm not super familiar with Ju True Jordy. 
I know he's like jacked. He's like a huge yeah, dude. Yeah, he's jacked. He has a podcast that he does, um, like bettering yourself, to, like alpha. Manosphere stuff? Yeah. Okay. Well, apparently he has beef with, with Andrew. And uh, he, over the weekend, uh, was accused uh, by Andrew of making Islamophobic comments. Here's the clip. Let's just turn it up here. Are you fighting Andrew Tate? Mate, and oh, come on. Andrew Tate's got God on his side oh, now. Man. There's no way Brian would win that. Um, although I would gladly blow myself over if I could take that fucking shit bag with us. Um, That's the use of a stereotype there, which is obviously not what he... Uh... I'm just saying, if he really <laughs> wants to prove it... That's his Dan. Do the right thing. Dude, this guy <laughs> did a... such a Dan move. That's the stereotype. He didn't mean that. Wait, we missed the we missed the culmination here. Uh, which is obviously not what he. Uh, I'm just saying, if he really wants to prove it, do, do the right thing. <laughs> let's see how it's a stereotype. Let, let's see how about that life you really are. As, yes, although yeah, not actually somewhat sensitive. I would say with his friend there as being a uh, kind of kind of like sensitive to the issue right so it's kind of impressive at least mm -hmm. that he associate with somebody who's sensitive uh i don't know uh, what what's your thoughts ab so i don't have to speak on this um well do we have defending andrew tate in the title and andrew's defense no we're not defending andrew <laughs> tate just to be clear i uh, that was a gag yeah i mean it no! is i'm kind of just used to it you know, uh, growing up post 9-11, but yeah, I think sometimes people just toss things around and not realize what they're saying. Uh, it is, uh, we, we all aren't strapped with a, with a B word. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> well, on this channel, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just a tasteless joke. Yeah, very I mean, tasteless it's, joke. It's not, is the... That being said, I've spoke to the uh, Muslim council and we do not accept... Uh, uh, people in the chat are actually saying uh, the the guy that you said is his Dan. Uh, his is married to a Muslim woman. Oh, that and explains so why he's, he's extra be... sensitive about. Okay, that. okay, that's interesting. Yeah, his okay. wife and children are Muslim. There you go. Oh my goodness! So he's really yeah. <laughs> he's really stepping in it quite okay, a bit. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so um, okay, obviously it's an offensive joke, right? Yeah. Okay, it's fine. You know, it happens. Um, it's not the is it's not like the worst thing you could say about a man. No, I mean, saying? it's definitely prejudiced and yeah. playing off of bad stereotypes and everything. So, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not a great thing to say. But And he immediately got called out on it by his co-host or producer or whoever he is. So anyway, Andrew Tate eats this up as a newly uh, converted uh, uh, Muslim for two weeks. And he is going to war with Jordy over this comment. It's very, very funny. Stop. Wait, this is his alt. I recognize this face. He posted this himself. True Jordy decided it was funny to insult Muslims by insinuating they all blow themselves up. To insult the religious beliefs of billions of people worldwide, you're going to learn very quickly that was a mistake. Um, woke woke what, king. What, again, what's so interesting to me, this has 50,000 likes, 1.7 million views. He has like conservative, like manosphere fans, and now all of a sudden they care about Islam, the sanctity of of so Islam. So weird. It's so weird. Oh, conservatives <sighs> have always been staunch defenders. Yeah. Of, uh... Yeah. So <laughs> woke. I mean, they they really are. And this is a beautiful. This is a new page that we love. He's really. I'm a man of God. He, yeah. He found his new weapon. He's going to use Islam as his excuse for everything. I, this is the first of many to come. You. Well, it's a, it's gonna make us look bad each time. <laughs> right. So here he is, uh, here he is going to war. There's not many people in the world I have a personal beef with. I've had some internet beefs back and forth. There's very few people I personally dislike. One of them is True Jordy, hmm. who's followed me long enough. He's in good company, my man. We gotta get together. <laughs> personally dislike. One of them is True Jordy. Anyone who's followed me long enough understands why. He's a very insulting, fat, vulgar... Oh, he got him with the fat! No! Okay, maybe not that woke. <laughs> is he fat? He looked jacked. No, he's me. just jacked. Yeah, is he, what's, let me see a full body picture of him. I thought he was looked like a... F yeah. <laughs> he calls him fat? 
But that's like the the best uh, alpha bro insult of course. to each other. Oh, you're fat. It's going to hurt his face. Let me see. Dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on. True Jordy, full body, shirtless. <laughs> Your Google search. I just typed that shit. <laughs> what? This guy's fat? This is him. Yeah, that's what I thought. He's like super jacked. Okay, if he's fat, then I'm really in trouble. Okay, interesting insult. He's a dickhead. He's an unlike. He's a very insulting, fat, vulgar. He's a dickhead. He's an unlikable person. He's not very smart. He's stupid. He has his little girlfriend who sits next to him. And they did a video about me long ago where they were insulting a bunch of women who worked for me, calling them horrible names. He made full-grown women cry. I replied and said that's a horrible thing to do and he should apologize. He refused to apologize because he was full of hate. Turns out the man was full of hate because he ended up begging for dildos off of a woman. The screenshots were leaked of him begging for dildos, begging to suck on them, begging to be cheated on because he likes to be dominated by females. He sits there, fat. That's why he eats so much, to try and pretend he's bigger than he is. He sits there fat, trying to convince the world it's muscle and that he's a tough guy. But truthfully, he begs to be dominated by females. Dude, he is so, he is so mentally <laughs> ill. He is so oh, unwell. There, he's like, you've insulted an entire religion. How dare you? And then in the same breath, insults 50% of the population of the planet. He goes, he goes, he goes, but at the same time, I hate fat people, gay people, <laughs> uh, 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 women, women who are dominant, men who like to be submissive. There's nothing. <sighs> okay. Sounds like a, he's got a fun, he's having a fun time at home, Andrew. You're the one who's like, I can't get off anymore because I fuck too many women. My dick doesn't work because I fuck too many women. <laughs> I can fuck a new girl every night, but I don't want to because it's boring now. Suck a little bit of dick. <laughs> so this person is genuinely a piece of shit. And now, after me converting to Islam, he made a piece on one of his podcasts saying that I'm not true in my conversion and then insulted all Muslims. Then the Muslims blow themselves up. And I should go blow myself up. We should all blow ourselves up, making fucking racist comments. About <laughs> it's just he, two weeks ago he would have been totally down with that joke. <laughs> As you, you know, uh, it's just fun. You've been a you've been a Muslim for two weeks, bro. I <laughs> hope he's yeah. I hope he's not having any premarital sex anymore. If uh, if he's so right, drunk. right, true. Yeah, true. I hope the Hustlers University is all about um, you know sanctity, sanctity, sanctity yeah. of uh, marriage. Absolutely, something. for sure. Also, a lot of people in our chat were pointing out how funny it is that he converts to Islam and all of a sudden the cigar's gone and the hookah's in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you yeah, think you're playing it up a little you, uh, bit, bro? When you sign up, they give you a hookah. It's standard issue. Well, hold on. Talk, talk about racially stereotyping yourself. Just because you're, you're Muslim now doesn't mean you need to smoke hookah, bro. You can still smoke a cigar. <laughs> like, hello, what are you going to put on a fez and fucking like... Yeah, he's going to wind up in a <laughs> hookah lounge in Morocco <laughs> all of a like, sudden. Like, dude, come on now. An entire religion as if that's somehow funny. Let me tell you something, my friend. And if True Jordy, if you're watching this, this is a message directly to you. Uh-oh. There are certain times in life you need to know when to shut the fuck up. There are certain things which are not funny. Certain things that are not beyond reprisal. You don't sit and insult a man's religion. Just like you don't insult a man's entire company and the people who work for him. That's one thing. But to insult my religion and the Two religion weeks. of billions of people across the fucking planet, <laughs> making ignorant jokes about fucking blowing ourselves up, thinking that it's going to go without consequence. He's like, I'll teach you. I'm going to blow you up. <laughs> I'll teach you to make jokes like that. I mean, listen, he's, he's threatening Blowing him. Blowing ourselves up, <laughs> thinking that's going to go without consequence. You're going to learn very quickly, my friend, that that was a mistake. He's, it's awesome. Sounds like he's threatening violence on him. So it's like kind of great. Little ironic. Somebody says, Abella, who's uh, one of our great patrons, patrons says, Andrew Tate to Islam is Trisha is to Judaism. <laughs> That's an interesting analogy, but I think tr what Trisha does is even worse, actually, because you can switch to, you can become is a Muslim, mm -hmm. but the way that Trisha... We'll get you in prison. No, I'm kidding. Well, Trisha was supposed... Well, I don't know much about converting to Islam. <laughs> is it like that? Uh, it's easier well, to convert to Islam than it is to yeah, Judaism. Yeah, it's fa faster. They're, they're recruiters. They, yeah, they yeah. want yeah. more people. Yeah. In Judaism, you have to, like, 
You have to take an exam, basically. You have to study. <laughs> you have to prove to the rabbi you're committed. Right, yeah. And so what Trisha did was super fucked. She's like, I paid a rabbi, and he said I'm Jewish now. It's like, no, you didn't. You fucking liar. But anyway, it's a good analogy. Just give me a reason to talk about Trisha, but we don't need to do that. Stop it, Bella. Don't get me started. Yeah, I'm done. Don't worry, guys. People get so edgy when I talk, or on edge. So, um, that was pretty fun, right? I mean, two weeks in and he's already threatening violence. Right? Is my interpreting the end of that right? Oh, yeah. No, it totally yeah. sounded yeah. like he was threatening. Yeah. Him. Like, that's like the, the vision of what people imagine when they think of, like, evil Muslim villain in, like, Hollywood. It's like this, like, the <laughs> braid of his face, the crazy eyes, like... But that, that's what's so America. funny to me. He's like, <laughs> he's like, yo, Muslims aren't violent. Which he's right, right? Like, on that, that's not true. Not inherently, of course that's not. A, that's a terrible stereotype. Yeah. But then he follows it up by, and I'm gonna fucking kill you for saying that. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? And again, like, so offended that somebody would say something offensive about a religion, which obviously you shouldn't, but then in the same breath, you're just like, you're fat, you listen to women, you're pathetic, beta, like... He should move to Iran or Saudi Arabia and just get really into it, I think. He'll be in UAE or something like that. That's more his right, speed. Dubai, yeah. yeah. Have a couple slaves. Right. We love that. Um, we have more, let's see, Tate's response. Oh, tr wait, an apology video by True Jordy? Did he really apologize? Yeah. He did. Pretty wait, soon. people. Oh, uh, shit. People must have got angry at him for that one, eh? Yeah, his apology went up pretty shortly after that video of Andrew got views. Oh, my goodness. So, is True Jordy a sensitive king? I don't know anything about him. Dude, yeah. he, I, he tears up You'll in this see. video. He does? Mm -hmm. Specifically, his, uh, his uh, co host probably hit him hard, he said. Mm hmm. Right, yeah, he has a direct uh, connection within his uh, podcast yeah. to some Right, you'll Muslim see he, he isn't necessarily crying about Andrew Tate. They kind of go off on a tangent, but it's connected. I timestamped it. The comments are kind of vile. This man isn't sorry. He's just trying to save his career. Since when do Manosphere people care about the sanctity of Islam? I'm so confused about this whole thing. And also, they're just so, they're so ready to cancel somebody. I thought cancel culture was That's, like the I'm worst plague. It's just it's the I'm hypocrisy so of it all. Confused about what's it's like what he said here. is offensive, but like these these are the people that claim nothing gets to them and cancel culture is so terrible or whatever. And of of course, it's all bullshit. And and these have a ton of of votes too. This man, this isn't an apology. This man needs a reality check. Five thousand likes. What? So weird because I thought cancel culture didn't exist in this world. At all. Comedy's back on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's hear what he has to say. I made a joke in questioning that newfound faith of his that mm -hmm. conveniently comes at a time when he needs as many supporters as he can get. It was a stupid joke. As much as I don't want to- Yo, i sorry, but I just- I always got a comment when I see the biggest fucking table I've ever seen. It looks like they're talking right to each other, but then- Look at this. Look at this fu the size of this. That's I love the, that table. Same table, same same table. That. Wait, it is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. is just going on? They're using the same table? Yeah, they use Howie's set too. They, oh, this the, isn't um, Howie's? Huh? No, no, I'm saying impulsive. They they go around. They used uh, Howie's set. Oh, they too. used. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, they used it. I see. I think that table's sick, just for the record. It's too big. I want a table that big. <laughs> it would be big. it would be great for the show. It's they're, they're basically sitting in other rooms. How are you going to even connect at that point? <laughs> like you won't even hear. It's better other. for the camera. We are very limited on our camera angles with our table. That's why I've been advocating I, for. I a don't think table. I'd be comfortable sitting that far away. Like genuinely, it's too far away. Okay, well maybe there's a middle ground we can find. It, I, it looks kind of like Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, back then they had tables that long so that the the people you're sitting with couldn't lunge at you with a dagger. <laughs> anyway. As much as I don't want to repeat the joke, I think it's only right so that people have context who don't understand. Uh, I said if he really wants to prove he's a Muslim, he should uh, blow himself up mm -hmm. as a suicide bomber or something like that. Mm. Now, Actually, no, you said, which I thought was the best part, he should do the right thing. <laughs> blow himself up. But that's, I... Okay, okay, get it together, you said. 
when I when I say that out loud, when I'm when I'm aware of it, fucking horrendous. You know, it was one of those off the cuff remarks that uh, I made in a, a with a total lack of thought. Dude, he's being canceled by the Manosphere. Like he is on the apology tour. Yeah. He is being pressured. They're saying this is literally the same comment you'd see on like a James Charles cancellation. I know it's indistinguishable from yeah, exactly. It's exactly. so awesome. It's so awesome. His podcast and his content, to my understanding, is more sports based. But of course, the crossover between yeah. complete manosphere and sports is pretty high. Yeah, and there's a lot over there. Yeah, yeah. The football and boxing mainly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, do, I have seen some comments saying that I guess are familiar with him saying he's not manosphere, but. Can I, like, I, I think the joke warrants an apology, that's fine, but, like, it seems just like, I don't know, they're c coming down so fucking hard. Oh, someone's saying H3, they're not Manosphere. Okay, maybe not, I don't know, I don't know. Someone says, Ethan watched Jordy's video on Logan Paul when he went to the forest, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised by him. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think I like him so far, I mean, he seems like, like, uh. Somebody said his co-host is a lefty. Wow, I love that. See, I like that. Okay. There you go. Jordy? True you go. Jordy. Jordy? True Jordy. Yeah, he had an Ethan moment there, someone said. <laughs> it's not that. You didn't get banned, so you know what I mean? Not yet, anyway. Well, that's another thing. I mean, I'm not saying I agree with it, but yeah, he's getting a lot of shit. He's talking about another culture. I mean, you got a bunch of shit for saying something about someone who's, you know, also Jewish, so I can imagine that he was a. Uh... Bro, I didn't say shit wrong. No, let's not. I I was <laughs> <laughs> was debating bringing that up. <laughs> let's just move past it. Yeah, yeah, that would be the best thing to do. <laughs> we have one strike already. Let's just, let's yeah. just yeah, move yeah, it yeah, along. Yeah. I'm sorry, I was trying to get a vacation. Basically, I'm just saying with the holidays coming up, Ben Shapiro should no be the first to come to. On each other. Enjoy my homemade homemade latkes this holiday That's season. That's very sweet. That's very sweet. Yeah, we make our own home latkes, which is a Jewish tradition. Yes. You'd have a lot of fun. You just used the, the what, what was the brand that you beat your mom with? Yes. <laughs> I've never used the Manischewitz. Manischewitz. Right. I forgot about that. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, Jordan Peterson was just on the podcast. Okay, I mean, I don't know. I have to watch it. I, Ethan has said worse people. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. That uh, my thing was like, I mean, it's definitely warranted apology, and that's good. I think it's nice to apologize, but yeah. it seems like not that fucking big, that fucking bad. Well, and I'm it's sorry, just, it's just not. And it's also it's just a bad joke, and I do that shit all the time, and you apologize. And it's it's the level of bad faith of the criticism <laughs> because of all of the things that we've enumerated here i mean he's been muslim for 48 hours <laughs> he thinks he's against cancel culture but he's ready to cancel this guy in a heartbeat he's ready to and kill he, him and he's so against stereotyping and all this stuff but <laughs> this is the guy that says that women are less than men in every regard and he says that without a second thought so it's just you know the hypocrisy is it's a lot it, it, it's it, a lot yeah and it's gonna come back to bite tate in the ass too because uh the haram police don't sleep man Oh, oh yeah, right. they're waiting. Right. They sleep with one mile. <laughs> right. <laughs> but also, every time uh, it's about Tate, you gotta be mindful that he has this like Discord army type thing that mm -hmm. just pushes. Oh, like, interesting. Just, That's yeah. true. Imagine. So I, I, I don't even think most of those people are angry. Is you or, think? I don't know. That's an interesting it's a lot point. Of yo, you think he's on Discord being like, yo, y'all, this dude is not haram. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was just laughing at. Imagine he converts like a bunch of his kid audience to Islam. <laughs> I mean, he really, may. I mean, he's trying, right? You in already... our religion, it is, it is a good deed. I mean, like, uh -huh. so, <laughs> it's just such a fucking weird situation. I'm interested in this new evolution, though. Like, I wonder where it's going to take him. Because, you, like you said, he's got this Hustler University. He's like a pickup artist. Right. Like, where, how does this... We hit him with like fundamental Islam. Like right. he went, he's like, it seems like he's pretty hardcore now. He didn't get into like the set, like the really mild version. He's like in the deep end, right? Yeah. Let's see if he fasts this year for Ramadan. Yeah, exactly, dude. He's gonna have to, he's gonna lose some muscle mass. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There it is. 
Thank you, everybody, for uh, watching that with us. He apologized, and then, oh, no, Chew Jordy got dropped by his sponsors. Yeah, and he, start, he cries in that video. It's got to be like you said. It's got to be his Discord freaks that just bombard everybody. Yeah. There's just no, it's just, I'm like, this is so annoying. I mean, it's the same thing that, it, it was not a good thing to say, right? And he did it, and he, he should apologize. But I'm just saying, like, in terms of all the worst things in the world you can say, if you're a comedian, it's like, sometimes you say, you put your foot in your mouth and you apologize and you move on. But, like, this whole thing seems to be so blown up out of proportion. I mean, that's just, I don't know. Jim Shark, we do not condone racism, discrimination, or Islamophobia of any form. We do not agree with the comments made by Brian, a.k.a. True Jordy, and have suspended our relationship with him indefinitely, effective immediately. I mean, it's not like he was on a soapbox talking about how we need to, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. round up the... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I don't know. Just... Well, and you know all how the, it is. By I the mean, way, it's happened the... to us many times, like... Mm -hmm. You say something like that, you're you're gonna wind up losing sponsors, especially if people, uh, you know, start mass emailing them or whatever. Which, like you said, I'm sure he had his little Discord go and do. So. And these the people that mass emailed, they're not even customers. Of course not. They're never gonna buy shit. You know, here's the top comment. It's a top G never loses. So yeah, it's just do not want to get canceled. That's crazy, dude. Ugh, it's gross. I'm just curious to see how he's gonna look, try to look cool after this Tate, if he's like this devout Muslim now. And, and like just that compilation of Top G, can't do that no more in the comment right there. Right. Let's see, is this the same one we saw? That all Muslims, then the Muslims blow themselves up. And I should- Should we just sound like that? Muslims blow themselves up? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> just <like> kidding. <laughs> it's a joke. Don't, don't kill me, Jim Shark. Oh yeah, Ethan. <laughs> well, you're gonna learn for that joke. You're gonna learn a lesson. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're you're gonna learn the hard way. Yeah. Never to fuck with the, uh, never to make jokes, kiddo. I don't know. I maybe 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 I'm not being sensitive enough, but I just I don't know. This whole thing is kind of shocking. No, as a Muslim, I think it's ridiculous. Like, it's good that he apologized and he can not make those j kind of jokes anymore. But this whole thing is. It's 100% manufactured by his fans. Yeah. And the, you know, the gym shark, they took the fucking bait, and it sucks. I guess now he's just having a big joke out of it. <laughs> and, 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 like, if you're talking about, um, cancel culture, how you hate it, this is basically, like, perpetuating this shit so bad. Like, damn, you can't even say, I don't know, whatever, bro. There, the, fuck, this shit is annoying. There it is. Saying. True Jordy is uh, canceled. We hate True Jordy. We hate him, folks. Hmm. Uh. Uh. True Jordy. Uh. Mm. Money. 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 Maybe Tate's the new try guy. He's trying Islam. <laughs> Fill, he filled the spot. <laughs> Let's see. Is he active on YouTube now, or he does like a podcast? Is that what he does? I'm just loving so this was him integrating himself into that <laughs> yeah, crew. <that's> <laughs> <laughs> so this is um, his last video. He had Deji on? And then Jordan Peterson was a month ago. They actually didn't get that many views compared to his other ones. Or it did okay. But that's interesting that you'd think whenever Jordan goes on a show like this, he gets like a gajillion views. What's the definition of... Definition? <laughs> Is trying to elevate yourself up the status hierarchy and if you don't know that you're just ignorant and if you're and and blind and you're even more dangerous than you would be if you were conscious of your true motivations and so it's all about power now <laughs> that's just not true it's not all about power are you following love i heard you laughing no it's so funny because I, it doesn't make sense at all and i know <laughs> if we knew the context it wouldn't have made more sense ever, so it doesn't matter by the way, I've been taking Jordan's advice, and I got a SUNY pen pal, and that shit's not working. I sent him a letter, and he's like, who the fuck are you? This is weird. So, Jordan Peterson, your, uh, your advice for Muslims... Take a pen here. pal! <laughs> Write some letters! 
We need to bridge the divide. <coughs> power. And in fact, if you try to govern your relationships based on power, your true relationships, you will fail. Mm -hmm. So imagine that you, you, your wife, let's say. Whatever. How is people? It's like he drones on and on and on about the same shit. Bella Simmons, thank you for the gift. Did F the top G. I appreciate the wife, man. Yeah. Wait, someone said Bobert is 62 votes behind. Are you serious? Ooh, is it that close? Pull that up if you have an update. 62 votes. I, I if, told if, you it's going to be Can I say something? Tight. These elections recently have been so close that it, it, it doesn't make sense. How can you have millions of people casting a vote and then these elections are regularly this, coming down to 49 49. Well, this one is a, it's a local election, so it's not, it's not, <coughs> but, he, of but a lot of the state elections, even the uh, presidentials, they end up being like 1% margins. It just seems kind of insane. Here's where we're at. Wow. With over 95% of the votes in, yeah, it's going to be extremely close. Dude, how is that possible? How is I don't that know. possible? I don't know. It's probably like a feedback loop. They look at the polls uh, b uh, beforehand, and whoever's down spend more on marketing, and they kind of just equal out. When sure. They see they kind of the voters are more motivated yeah. to get out because of that. But yeah, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Guess we'll find out. It'll probably be decided by leftovers tomorrow morning. So. Oh yeah. We'll yeah. either be celebrating. God, or... please let her lose. I need to <laughs> lose. This isn't a runoff thing. This is winner take all. This is do or die. Oh my god, fifty fucking votes. That that's too close. Like ever since George Bush hanging chads, I feel like elections been like like constantly, almost impossibly close. Mm, yes and no. I mean, it happens, but like, I mean, Biden and Trump wasn't close. No, he got destroyed. Yeah. Even Hillary destroyed him too, technically, probably their vote. Right. All right, how long have we been going? Because uh, We've been going for three hours and 20 minutes. The only thing left is the Taylor Swift drama that everyone's been wanting to hear my take on this. But it's kind of old news at this point. But yeah. I'll just watch it real fast. Let's see. Okay. Let me watch it so I can get claimed real fast. Just oh, kidding. well then, I know, even risk it? It's a picture. It's a picture. Yeah, it's just a screen. Would love okay. to hear Ethan's thoughts on the whole Taylor Swift fat shaming debate when the pod comes back. So, okay, um... Olivia, you probably know the context, but so I she do. has does this music video. Mm -hmm. She gets on the scale. She stares at the scale. It says fat. Right. Well, the is that it? The song is called Anti Hero. <laughs> so essentially, when she does that, she is labeling the word fat as being anti hero. But the director, you'll see, I put an album of people okay. defending it too. <laughs> so this, uh, this, uh, her Twitter handle, by the way, is Fat Fab Feminist. As an actual fat person, genuinely, how are we? She's an actual fat person. Uh, the genuine thing, baby. I'd like to know at what point you become a genuine fat person. Like, where's that? Where is that threshold? Am I a genuine fat person or am I uh, an imposter fat person? You're in uh, reform. She's like, You're trust me. She's like, reform. trust me. When you see me, you'll know. <laughs> I'm a genuine thing. <laughs> How are we supposed, uh, so says, as an actual fat person, genuinely, how are we supposed to feel seeing this? Watching a thin person remind the whole world that one of their biggest fears is being fat, is looking like me. Demonizing the word fat while never having the experience of living in a fat body, fat phobic. So, I do have to give a disclaimer. Taylor Swift has previously spoken about her struggles with eating disorders specifically she had like a netflix documentary where she really talked about it so it's it's not it's not like she has never expressed difficulty with this with this topic it doesn't i think everybody's why. entitled to feel like she's not it's, yeah. it's stupid how who are you to say this whole thing of genuinely fat it's like you're gatekeeping fat i mean everybody <laughs> sees their bodies differently and by the way I don't think this is fat phobic in the slightest bit. Fat phobic is like, uh, not to prop myself up as like the g real genuine fatty here, but um, fat phobic, in my opinion, is the shit that like fat man bad stuff, where mm -hmm. it's like he's fat and therefore his opinion's invalid. Like people literally see you uh, as 
less than. It's the first time I actually felt fat phobia personally. Um, and the way that I really feel it is when people are like, I don't take you seriously because you're fat. This is not that. This is just her ex expressing her own experience with her own body. Like, you could, don't own the word fat. It's not fat phobic. I don't know. I find this whole thing a little bit exhausting because it, it just, it's just, it's just like the whole perspective, the way she's written it, it's like a thin person is reminding me that one of the biggest fears in the world is being fat. What do you mean reminding you? Like, nobody wants to be fat. I'll just be real. I'm fat. Nobody wants to be fat. Are we pretending like that's not the case? It's not healthy. And nobody wants to be fat. Everybody wants to be a uh, healthy size. Uh, and, and, and being fat, if a genu if fat is not healthy. I'm like, that's just the fucking fact of it. Not everyone's young and healthy. And, uh, you know, it's like, we're not, I, you can't ask the whole world to tiptoe around your insecurity. She goes, when I see Taylor Swift call herself fat, it reminds me that I'm a f that I'm fat and everybody hates me. It's like, well, that's your problem. Yeah. You got to address that shit. It's not Taylor Swift's problem to fucking tiptoe around you. I also think the intention was it was it was <coughs> clearly Taylor Swift's critique on that being so pertinent in in young girls' minds. Like that the director says that they use that word because it was the most disgusting thing they could think of. So it's not it it it, it adds to the story that she's trying to tell. It's not like it comes out of nowhere and that's her actual ideology and that's what she's preaching to her fans. Dude, even if it was, I just don't think it's a big <laughs> deal. But yeah, I hear you. It's giving Matt, it's giving yogurt store vibes for sure. Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, they're not, the whole world can't cater around your insecurities. You got to take responsibility for some shit in your life. And I'm not saying that, you know, if you're fat or overweight, you're less than. I'm just saying, if you're insecure about it, you got to work on yourself and not cater to the whole, every, get mad when everyone else is just like minding their own fucking business. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then like, it's, it's crazy. I don't know. It's just, it's not, it's not genuine. I feel like this whole thing is. Is silliness. And then I have a hard time. The another rest good of the week. example. And I'm a genuinely fat person, so I have credentials here. Go yeah. Ahead. Another good example of someone being fat phobic is like when you called out Andrew Tate for supposedly like, you know, having people locked up in the basement or whatever, and he's like, "Oh yeah, well you're fat," you know. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it, like he he actually puts that in like as a personality defect. Yeah. And that's fat phobic. That is. But but um, this is more her commenting on like her perception of her body. It is, you know, I don't know. I just, I don't see it. This isn't her saying she's a bad person because she's fat. She's just saying she feels fat, and everyone's entitled to that emotion. Uh, you know, you don't get to gatekeep feeling fat because you're genuinely fat. Uh, the whole thing is weird with the genuinely fat thing too. It's like you want to own this. You want to own being genuinely fat. <sighs> you know. It's not that cool. I, I just think it's not a it's not that cool of a club to be in. The genuinely fat club is like it's just not that fucking it's just not that fucking cool of a club. Just saying. Also, people are upset with her because they're saying she can't really relate to someone who's actually fat. But at the same time, we don't know what her experience is like with having cameras on you all the time. And I'm sure she's been called overweight several times. It's like right. a totally different experience for oh, her. Oh, yeah. It's like a woman celebrity. I'm yeah. sure she's had all kinds of, you know, insane scrutiny. People and photographers or agents or managers, uh, <laughs> executives at the record label or whatever. Like, you got to trim up before the next tour. Oh, yeah, dude. Can you yeah. imagine? And, and, and um, yeah, she said she has an eating disorder. She's entitled to feel however the fuck she wants. And she doesn't need you gatekeeping being fat. Like, that's crazy, dude. I don't know. Let's keep going, because there's more, apparently. The music video of the song Antihero depicts Taylor sipping on a scale. Oh, we saw this. The scale is in that tweet. If it, it has received criticism from fans who say she's promoting fat phobia. It's the same tweet. Oh, there's more. Taylor Swift fat discourse is killing me. People saying it's not harmful or fucking stupid, just rotted. If my poor fat 13-year-old self had sat down and watched a skinny blonde woman stand on the scale and say fat, I would have cried. If she's fat, what hope was there for me? Well, 
I mean, uh, yeah, listen, listen. You got to deal with this. I'm not. She, this, this tweet's fucked up because now I'm having a discourse with this hypothetical 13 year old. Uh, <laughs> you got, you got it. Listen, right. You can't control what everyone, you can't control the world. It's just not realistic and it's not fair. You can't control the world. And I feel like there is a way to put a positive spin on seeing that too. Even as, you know, a, a young girl, if she saw the video, like, isn't it somewhat comforting seeing that somebody that you look up to is experiencing these same kind of struggles like if you uh are struggling with body image stuff like that and then you are looking at taylor swift and like oh i wish i looked like her she's so skinny or whatever but then you find out <coughs> that oh she actually has you know eating disorder issues that she's struggling with as well I don't know, to me, that, I've that, known seems, a, I've known that seems a lot like, of, oh, I can empathize with that person. I've known you know? a lot of really healthy, sized, or skinny even, women in my life who thought and felt they were fat. So, mm -hmm. this is a phenomenon that happens that is, you know, causing a lot of, of pain to, to women. And, sh and sh yeah, she's reaching out to them. And their experience is not less genuine than yours. Sorry. It's just not. Taylor Swift music video where she looks down at the scale where it says fat. 42,000. Oh my God. So this actually has some movement. It's a shitty way to describe her body image struggles. Fat people don't need to have it reiterated yet again. And it's everyone's worst nightmare to look like us. Dude, she wasn't in a fat suit. She was... I'm, I'm sorry. This discourse is fucking insane to me. It's impossible to appreciate Taylor Swift and Midnight as an artist and call her out for blatant fat phobia. It's like you got to reserve your this criticism a little bit. Blatant fat phobia, like give her a fucking break. That it's like, dude, there's real fat phobia, and and I'm sorry, but like, you can say this was a little insensitive, but the way they come for her is just fucking outrageous. I mean, she clearly. Uh, Taylor Swift should have done better because even if it's uh, relatable and an intrusive thought is damaging and fat phobic. Bro, I'm sorry, but uh, here, uh, I'm sorry, but this is fucking insane. It's insane. I'm not going to agree with this shit. It's just, it's just insane. And I'm a fat person, so I have credentials. Uh, funeral queen donated 10. Thank you. She said, I don't think it's fat phobia, but I think you can't tell if someone is healthy or not based on their size. Some bodies are just bigger. Bodies are neutral is the aim. I think that's true to an extent, right? I mean, clearly, at a certain size, they're not healthy. I mean, at the size where you're obese, you're not healthy. I mean, what, what are we talking about? But yeah, some people are big. True Jordy, for example, massive dude. Not fat. Or I don't know anything about him, but I'm just saying. My cra like, like, if you're obese, you're not healthy. I mean... I mean, there are drawbacks to that, but I think that there is some nuance there. And I'm, I remember who were, we were just talking about somebody on the show recently uh, who was on the bigger size, and everybody was pointing out how insanely. I, oh, oh, it was Lizzo. Remember when we were talking about Lizzo and the the whole like flute thing or whatever, and how she's like unbelievably athletic and does like crazy shit at her concerts and is running around for like three hours straight. Okay. And um, you know, it, but but. Well, she, I'm just saying she's on the bigger side, but I think that she is probably. I'm not saying I, it's, it's not. She's not unathletic or talented or something. But I'm just saying, Lizzo is obese, and I'm not, and she's and it's not healthy to be obese. Like that's just fucking straight up. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. It, it's just Maybe. not. I mean, there's study after study after study after study that being obese is one of the. Yeah, it's a big Easiest, factor in it, heart it, disease it, and all kinds gonna of things. It's going to give you yeah. cancer. It's going to give you heart disease. It's going to lower your life expectancy. I'm sorry to say this, guys. I don't know when this turned into a sensitive thing, but being like obese or morbidly obese <laughs> is the quickest way to shave years off your life. It just is. Now, I'm not saying that she's not athletic. I mean, she is. She's incredible what she does, right? She's got a lot of energy and stuff, but <sighs> I don't know what to tell you guys. It's not healthy being fat. You got to stop lying to yourself about that. I'm sorry. Just not. Ethan's truly become skinny now. Now I'm a skinny hating, a fat hating <laughs> skinny person. 
I don't have to tell you guys. Like, how are you going to disagree with me? It's 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 just the truth. I I, I yeah. No, I, I'm not my I, skin. By the way, I weigh two thirty. I'm still fat as fuck, bro. Trust me. I know. I know. I, I'm telling you. It's just like, how is this a bad take? It's literally science. Read the meta analysis. If you're morbidly obese, you're not. You're gonna fucking die. When's the last time you saw an eighty-year-old morbidly obese person? When's the last time you saw an eighty-year-old morbidly obese person? You never do because they don't live that fucking long. Every eighty-year-old is like skinny, uh, healthy. You know what I'm saying? Like all of them. And I'm just being real, bro. Find me one picture of an eighty-year-old morbidly obese person. Find me one. Find me, Dan. I see you typing. Find me one. <laughs> You're asking. I'm sorry, you guys. You guys start fucking putting your head in the ground. I'm not saying it's wrong to be fat. You can be fat. You can be even happily fat. You can be happily uh, overweight. You can be happily uh, morbidly obese and not and you're comfortable in your body. And I think it's wrong that people make you feel less than than that. But you but the truth is you're not living a healthy lifestyle and that and that that's your choice. I'm I'm not I'm not like I'm not trying to um to like judge you for it. I'm just saying that it is unhealthy. Like obviously. Come on. Like, I'm, like people that smoke or drink are not going to be like, bro, don't say it's not unhealthy. Don't say it's unhealthy to smoke or drink. It's like, it's fine. That's your, that's your prerogative, bro. It's I'm, not. I'm <laughs> sorry. This is fucking insane. I can't believe what I'm reading in the chat. Guys, I don't even know how to fact check. I don't even, you know what I mean? Like, there, this, it's so, I can't, what am I going to send him a fact about how it leads to a bunch of different diseases that, you know, are life threatening? Like, I don't. I it'd be I felt ridiculous even trying to send something. It's common sense. Like if you're not if you're not healthy, you're not healthy. You know what I mean? Like it's I'm not in good shape. I'm eating shit I shouldn't be eating. But I don't know. This is uh, it, it's strange seeing chat right now. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna fucking. I, I, I'm just saying you're wrong. Dan, are you trying to find me an eight year old fat person? I, I have been looking. I, I'm looking. They're not out images. there. <laughs> Dan's there's been looking. No, there's no fat eight year olds, guys. <laughs> There's no fat. Well, I mean, of course there are, but you. I, Find I know, a picture. No. Okay. You can't. You've already no, been looking. I hear you type it away. Well, I was looking for somebody that was like. Per minute, bro. I, I'm was looking for somebody that was like, you know, four or five hundred pounds. You know what I mean? And I think you're probably right about that. There are overweight elderly people. I'm course. not judging you guys if you're overweight like me. I'm obese, probably technically, right? Um. It doesn't make you a bad person, right? It's just it's just something that, you know, you got to deal with. Everybody's got different shit. Sorry. But it's not healthy to convince yourself that it's not unhealthy, okay? You got to be real about it. It's fine. If you want to die at 60 and you're fine with that, I'm not even joking. If you are okay having a heart attack at 50 or 60 years old, 60 is probably generous if you're overweight. Probably 50 but you really fucking like Big Macs, then then live your fucking life, bro. That's it. Can't believe what I'm reading here, guys. We have to be reality based. We can't be like Trump. We can't be like Trump people who like live in a fantasy world right. where every whatever they want to believe is true. We gotta live in the real world, hill people. There's nothing wrong with being fat, okay? We love we love our fatties. We love fatties, bro. We need a fatty union where we can get coupons for McDonald's and shit. <laughs> Just like share all the tips for getting the best calories per dollar. Got to stock up. Now, there's advantages of being fat, right? Like if you get sick or overweight, probably, you, get, you have more weight. It actually turns out that old people who are slightly overweight have a much better... A life expectancy than old people who are skinny because they tend if they get sick or something they tend to have a better outlook because they have reserve energy so here's a good thing here's a good way to think about it um you know in a nature setting we're dominant us fatties oh. <laughs> we put on the weight and we're lasting through winter motherfucker we hibernating and all the skinny fucks are just they're just gonna die okay we got that we got that Survival shit. <laughs> that gives yes. me flashbacks. <laughs> what? In a nature setting. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. I had, I had a flashback before. too, I know. <laughs> Shouldn't say that. Yeah. 
Uh, thank you, Bella, for the dono. She said, regardless of skinny people can be unhealthy. Skinny people can be unhealthy. Yeah. Oh, of course. I'm unhealthy. Dude, skinny people can definitely be unhealthy. Let's not, uh, yeah. like, like, of course, bro. Skinny does not mean healthy. That is for sure. Doesn't take away that being obese is still also unhealthy. If you're obese, you are still entitled to feel comfortable in your own body. Yes. I sure as hell do, she says. Get real, guys. Yes, 100%. You know? That's it. Okay? I don't think And then I had a hard time the rest of the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And I, I don't think you need to be skinny to be happy or, or less fat, you know? Fuck. That's it. Uh, so uh, her, uh, she, Truth says, as a morbidly obese person, the problem is so many people use unhealthy to mask their discomfort or fat phobia. Like we've been told by every doctor. I agree with you, but my problem is like people who are going on the offensive. Like you, like I agree. As a fat person, you don't need everybody telling you you're fat and to lose weight, right? Like you, you already, you've heard that a lot. And at a certain time, it's like, yeah, fucking leave me alone. But my problem is when people go on the offensive, uh, like they're doing to Taylor Swift or me right now, where they're like, you can't say being morbidly obese is unhealthy. Uh, no. Oh, uh, here, I'm gonna snipe chat. Like, uh, uh, Rabid Bird says, skinny does not equal healthy, fat does not equal unhealthy. That's true, but to an extent, right? Like, fat, like, how fat are we talking? You know what I mean? So, morbidly obese. I feel like so, um, being unhealthy and fat and skinny is so subjective. Maybe like if you were to say like statistically, if you're bigger, you have a shorter life uh, span or uh, I, what's, it, what's it called? I'm saying that morbidly more... obese. That's a very specific categorization. Yeah. yeah. Of, B I, of, of BMI, body, whatever it is, body mass index, body fat index. Yeah. Like to be classified as morbidly obese. That's pretty high on the, on the scale here. Look at this helpful, look at this helpful chart, you guys. <laughs> you gotta open this helpful chart. What's your BMI? Normal, overweight, obese, morbidly obese, red, see? It's red, guys, so you know it's bad. <laughs> Green, <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. All right, <laughs> let's wrap it up, please. Thank you. Like here, actually, th this is a chart that cat like sissy. Uh, I'm five eleven, so it's kind of crazy when you look at this. My normal weight, or wait, I'm thirty uh, seven, right, guys? Uh, Forty two. Wait, what is this? Oh, my weight. Yeah, my weight. So I'm I'm actually was like at three fifty. So I guess I was obese. I wasn't. I was like halfway through obese. So Wait, my three fifty, no no two fifty two oh, okay. yeah yeah two fifty, like my normal to get in the normal range it's one sixty five. I haven't weighed that much in like, that seems like really low. It's kind of crazy. People are gonna hate that you're looking at this chart. Why? Mm, just, <laughs> just doctors look. use this in every fucking office in the across the entire globe. But the chat says that BMI is flawed, so. Okay. It doesn't account for different body, body types, I suppose. You guys, bro, I'm not even gonna fucking play this game with you guys. Stop it. Dude, the chat. I'm seriously not gonna play this game with you guys. I'm not saying this is gospel. It's interesting to look at. I mean, I agree. That's kind of crazy. 165, that's like really, really skinny for me. So that doesn't seem like, that seems like too skinny. That is wild. Like, I think my ideal weight is like 180, and that says technically it's overweight. That's kind of weird. But obviously these are general, these are just general guides. Obviously it's not uh, it's mathematic. It's just like a general thing. Bro, I don't know what to say, dude. You fatties gotta be real about this shit, bro. I'm fucking over trying to, this is crazy! What am I, in crazy world? This is a crazy world, bro! Stop it! You can't live in your own reality! Leave me the fuck alone, dude! 
If you're if you're sensitive about being fat, you gotta deal with your own shit. Don't yell at me. Go see a therapist, bro. I don't know what to sell you. The whole world can't crazy? be sensitive because you, you have an insecurity. Stop. <sighs> should have ended the show 30 minutes ago. Yep. Really should have. Been going for almost four hours now. Really? Yeah. Alright, let's wrap it up. Thank you guys. Nice to have a such a nice, wonderful ending here. <laughs> Um, I don't know what's going on here. I'm living in a crazy world, apparently. I love fat people, bro. They're my fave. I'm not saying you're a bad person for being fat, okay? Stop, please. We're still friends. Don't unsubscribe and stop. Please remain a member, okay? Right, Dan? Right. Thank you. Beers with friends. I'm tired, dude. Beers with friends. All right. Thank you, guys. Love y'all. See you tomorrow morning for a great episode of Leftovers. We got all kinds of tea to sip tomorrow. And uh, see you guys then. Please don't hate me. We're just having fun here. <laughs>